My true Yarens, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro, is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island Chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego will be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on, you ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? And you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. Fucking say something. You got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Aye. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. Coño! Fucking blackout. Too big for a blackout. Fucking back it? Oh yeah! What's going on? Fin del mundo! Raptis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. What the fuck? Raptis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. Alejo, don't! Raptis must report for duty. Alejo, get down! Fuck Castillo! Alejo! No, no. Raptis must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to rebuild paradise. We have to go. Now! Check the rooftop Raptis now! The boat. Must report You're coming. You will join Promise us me, Lita. Paradise. See. Come on, Danny. Get to the port. Okay, Danny. When we get to Miami. We'll say goodbye to Alejo. I promise. Coño, get down. There's nobody here. Hey, Rojas should have answered the call. Next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on.
gotta move. They're going to see us. No, Trust me. Come out and stand before your home. Any resistance will be met with lethal force. There's a lot of soldiers, Lita. So we take the sewers. So much blood. Get down on the ground! Almost there. The way out is up ahead. Good. The boat's not going to wait for us. They're just letting the military kill us. These are the police, Danny. La noche de la muerte. The boat's over there! Run! Keep moving, Lita. We're almost there. to get on that boat. Abuela, what the hell I'm gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, yeah. Mierda. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? Give up his ticket. For his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. 
Vamos. Goodbye. Get on the fuck, Zingao. Let us on. Gracias. Don't worry about it, Chimaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lita. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a fishing boat. You mean, no, no! <laughs> Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big fish. That juicy marlin, ha! <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. See, Tirano! You have poisoned Yara! You have poisoned your son! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. What the hell just happened? I think we're fucked. <laughs> vamos, vamos! Lita! I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. Yeah, forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. He's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop, Elita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny.
You're the lucky one. Lo siento, Tita. So many dead. Gone. I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Shit. Pistols empty. Need to find that gun. How the fuck is he still working? The markings must be the call Lita was talking about. Who's shooting? Better stay quiet. I swear, the Karen that is small, it's thin, like animal. I can smell it on your clothes, your sweat. It's the stink of a traitor. Go on, a patrol. How did I know you were scavenging for Liberta? I smelled it on you. That's why you died. Now I'm going to call you. You? You're going to be slowly eaten, bit by bit, by the birds and the crabs. I'm not the only one looking for Clara. What's this? Could be useful. To Libertà, steal a boat, sell the fuck out of Yara. Easy. And now I'm talking to myself. Perfecto. Oh, fuck. Bad time to be a guerrilla. Been a while since I used one of these. Not a dozen one visitors. Gonna show your face before you shoot me? 
I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? Si, lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda! You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny? Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Gordon Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillos got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. He'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita then. I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Hello, my friend. You ready? I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortes. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. 
pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with neighbor Dad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. You're really going to let this Ingao stay here? What's the problem, Julio? The problem is we're not a fucking charity. the earpiece. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. This spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble, especially in areas with a lot of soldados. Si. I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. I don't know the name. What does he look like? Older. Wears a fedora. Dresses like a tourist. Do you have Never stops fucking talking. That looks like a Juan. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. What do you think gave it away, Wapo? This isn't a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Wapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can whistle. You 
fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. What the fuck? See, what boy is in love with you? And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. before the whole fucking army shows up. I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. Right behind you, old man. Wapo wants to be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. Only one way to find out. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. I can tell you handled a gun before. What's your name? Danny. So Clara says you're a legend. Ex-KGB, ex-CIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, he breaks fucking countries. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? that smoke that means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in yara and you are going to go get it now you want me to steal shit for you gunpowder and supremo bond the cerveza and chaser of resolver i'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons because making shit for weapons is cool and it's rule number nine always use the right tool for the right job you coming with me fuck no you got guapo you can tear shit up with him, but if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. At least you're here to help one. <sighs> Weapon or not, the military will shoot me on sight here. Guess this could be useful. This is more like Special Special del Presidente Anton Castillo. When I look at you, I see the future. I see paradise.
What the hell are you going to do with this one? More shit for one. Found all your shit, one. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up, ready for me to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? The orphanage in Esperanza. Then the military. I'm no guerrilla. Just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn, and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. There is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your Yaran blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Wapo hates quitters. Coño. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Wapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, that's... It's grounded. But I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about Resolver, Danny. When I was six, I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy with it. I don't know. Some Trust Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this case, it's gunpowder and scraps. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill people faster? The answer is soft target rounds. Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. 
Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna These do. rounds fly straight and true and go through Kevlar like shit through a goose. Nice! Now you got your own supply of high velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang into a bang at the cost of some range. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Making shit is addictive. With that workbench, so you can build a new Yara. What makes you think we're going to last a week? Feels like Castillo's got the whole army here looking for us. <laughs> Feel like taking Wapo for a walk? Danny, I've got big plans for you. But first, I need you to get a thing for me. Now, I hear you ask, Juan, what is this thing you need? All you need to know is don't try to eat it, talk to it, or put it in your pants. But Juan, I hear you ask, where is this thing you need? Head for the radio tower and follow the trail north. It'll take you to an abandoned camp on the east side of the island. I can mark it on your map. You'll meet my contact there. She'll hook you up. And Danny, you pull this off, I'm gonna give you something for pulling me from the bottle. A little gift an old friend gave me for saving his life. Not that you saved my life, just... I get the fuck out of here. Easy as smoking a cigar on Sunday. I haven't ridden a horse since basic training. Whoa!
You're such a good dog. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Whoa, now. I've been through enough of them in Esperanza. Clear the checkpoints, destroy the billboards, then watch Libertad rise from the ashes. Gotta take out that alarm.
bet this place has a stash room. Juan, the checkpoint is clear. Didn't that feel good? You've earned some guerrilla karma today. Keep it up, Danny. Hey, come here! Be nice, horse. One, I found the tower. Don't stop now, Danny. Find the guerrilla path and follow it to my contact. See, si. I'm on my way. Here comes trouble. My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. <laughs> Pardon. I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. Just show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready.
There he is. Hope you got some pesos on you. Que voila. Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. Thanks a lot. Sure. Whatever you and Raisa are about to do, I don't want to be around for it. Everyone's got their price. Not every soldier's a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their families. Just remember to put the guns away before you approach them. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. I bet Juan's already giving you his right tool for the right job, Doc. Hey. Where is the officer in charge? Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. In Castillo's army, that means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. That parachute I gave you could come in handy here. Just don't drop into the middle of the fort, okay? Better watch my step. Santuario Island. If 
you have any doubts about the strength of our nation, simply look to the horizon and see the power of our blockade. Get me Juan's uranium. There again. Who's that? Someone's there. Our tobacco 
is the lifeblood of Vivilo. Which means it is the lifeblood of Yara. When the Libertad terrorists attack one of our tobacco fields, they are attacking all of us. They are attacking Yara, attacking our future. Our very future. We must protect our fields. As if we are protecting the uranium. What? You didn't fucking tell me I was stealing uranium. It was supposed to be a surprise. Now bring it back to me. What if this shit kills me? It's depleted uranium, Danny. Stop being such a pussy. Oh yeah, Juan. Ha <laughs> ha! This is Resolver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Nita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay. But what the hell is this? This... Supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. See? She does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you reserve air, Juan. So do I. I can't handle two of you. You can't handle one of me. <laughs> ah, fuck you, it's a shitty joke. Just look yummy up. Danny, where you at? Getting close, I think. So you know, Helena's the big boss. I'm team captain. And you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in Oliviara. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice to meet you too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Down the stairs. I hope Sergio is okay. A week ago feels like a month ago. I need six volunteers. I'll talk to my people, honey. Big Jorge and Anna's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Elena? Mierda. Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? 
We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use La Maral's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people and I'll think about it. Mm-hmm. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. Soul. Be nice to him. I am. I think it would be great if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get replaced with three more. Admiral Lam Morat. Where are you going? So, yeah. Admiral Lam Morat people die. There is no one replacing them. Not yet. On top of that, the farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We tried. None of those abuelos want to fight. I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They build it from the parts of the ones we shot down. Dang. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? Some are. Some are with Castillo. You think we can get them on our side? We're gonna need them. Only when we're going to liberate El Este. Maybe when they hear Libertad is fighting with us, they'll join. <laughs> Your good propaganda, Danny. Nothing wrong in way. You better be okay. You're with La Moral, right? Yelena called. Do you want to lift to that boat? Let's do this. Get in. My name's Calixto. Danny. I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out real sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That's the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. A couple of months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. So what does La Moral do? They tracked and killed every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and slitting their throats while their families are slept. Assassin shit. These kids are smart, 
coordinated and cold blooded. Sounds like it. That show pass. We keep tabs on military convoys passing through there and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These kids are on the ball. Yelena is more organized than the military. La Moral's got our back. When Admiral Benitez started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. That's the ship. I can't get you any closer. This is great. Gracias, mi amigo. Good luck saving those people. People tied up near the front of the boat. Gracias. Yeah. I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. This is Admiral Benitez. To the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now. Those boats, Yelena. They're waiting for you to clear the air. Can somebody tell those planes to hold still?
Yelena, oh, it's done. Sí. Your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? Come back to El Aguero. Shit is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale, coño. Feel like bad shit's gone down here. Something I have to see. Go get them! Come on, bring it! Oh shit! Oh shit! I heard you kicked Benitez's ass, Danny. I wish I could have been there. What? What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Morale. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. See, si! The part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger? That was crazy! I loved it! <laughs> Danny needs to close. take care of our little problem at the hotel. Well, why didn't you say so? All we need is Carlito, and the hotel is as... Good as ours. What we need is to... I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution. And the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? 
Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. Hola, Juan. I'll apologize to Gilberto for shooting up his little corner. I've got a good feeling about this. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Gotta take out that alarm. out of here. He just needs a little love. Uh, Tigre you and Carlito together again. Baby, Tigre, jump in the driver's seat. Beginning, Carlito was attacked. Yeah! Whoa! What are you talking about? He's Carlito! Everyone knows Carlito! Baby Tigre! There's a cave we used during La Revolution! Take a left at the road! Get to the nearby bridge! Nothing will stand in our way!
Now's not the time! This is pretty fucking fun! It's about Lobo! Remember what I said he was? Listen, I don't have a story about you, Lobo the Legends, Todo! But I'm busy right now! Yeah, you're right! Carlito must have his revenge! Vamos! So you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay! How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on. Bring hey, Danny. Glasses for not Listen up. The hey, what's the hold up? We gotta make a move on the convoy. 
Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Hey Danny, you recruit those farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! So, so! Hola! Hmm. I haven't seen Honrong in a while. I hope she's okay. We're set for an ambush at the pass. Knuckleballs to go. I've been waiting for this. Time to show Honrong what I can do. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. It's knuckleball time, comadre. We're hitting that convoy at the pass? Repinga! I'll bring the road spikes! Perfecto! We get to use them! Honron, I'm at Shaub Pass. Cool. I'm keeping an eye on the convoy. I'll let you know when it's close. What should I do in the meantime? Hold the position, hide, and wait. Waiting is like the most important thing a guerrilla can do. See, si. just ready to roll. I'm Why don't you scroll your socials? I don't do That's socials. Speech. Maybe play a game on your phone? I don't do games. What is this convoy? It's coming. What about meditation? Not my thing. You should try. I used to meditate before all my big games. Come on, Danny. Breathe in, nice and slow. <sighs> Empty your mind. Visualize the convoy. Imagine yourself floating and blowing it up. Hey, <sighs> and more and breathe you know. out. See, no, I'm hanging up now. <sighs> I know there's a war going on. Empty your mind. Like, you know, Visualize the convoy. Romance. <sighs> Shit. That actually worked. I feel calm as hell. I hate all this waiting. Where is that convoy?
Jackpot. Is that your cap? This is going to help un montón. I heard you hit that convoy. Si. Home run's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. You gonna work with me here, Colonia? You headed to the Grand Hotel Caballero. You blind or what? Hey, hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, she, you're doing this mission? Hell yeah, I hate dentists. Too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. from command. Yeah? Okay. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, it's for her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. Dentists were always late. Not this one.
We already know the guy yes, are in the But where? Which part of fuck you don't you understand? Hugo, you enjoy eating solid food. You'll tell me where La Moral is hiding. The dentist is dead. The morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They butchered the last area here. You sure you're not La Morale, Danny? Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. 
you, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. <sighs> Keep it up. Get them, Chicha. What's up? Danny, a deserter gave us the location of a new anti-aircraft site. Mark it. That guy was huge! What? what? Guerrilla, marking a target on your map. It's an anti-aircraft site. Taking it out will send the army a message. My baby Tigre, a big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. So I'm Santos? No, you are me, the feast. Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. That I just imagine us destroying the Nefi. Are we doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Die! Stop! 
I wanted to thank you for opening my eyes to the truth about Castillo and Benitez and McKay. We couldn't have this conversation before! Before battle, I am speechless. But when I'm in Carlito and bullets are dinging, that's when I have my moments of clarity. Fool! I gotta go, Lorenzo! Let's show them Get what it means to be a true Yaren! Good. I want them uh. each covered in guerrilla blood! This is Admiral Benitez. The traitors of 67 and the terroristas of today are attacking us. The time has come to show them the strength of Dara's military. I'm a little busy right now. I wanted to thank you for opening my eyes to the truth about Castillo and Benitez and McKay. We couldn't have this conversation before! Before battle, I am speechless. But when I'm in Carlito and bullets are dinging, that's when I have my moments of clarity. Cool! I gotta go, Lorenzo! Let's sure show them what it means to be a true Yaren! I want the beach covered that in guerrilla blood! Whoever brings me the head of El Tigre will get a medal! This way is blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! A guerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! Fuck you, Trana! Trana! 
If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside. I'm good. Looks like this way's blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! A guerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! Down. If you're not dealing with a guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside! Excelente! That tank was the most powerful weapon! Now, it's time to kill these fake yarn rats! and I will deliver your corpses to Presidente Castillo myself! <laughs> this will all be hey, over soon! Don't do that! <coughs> oh, you are going to fall! That is sleep, Benitez. <coughs> Go ahead. How do I open Release the door, the Benitez? Went in. They will die, yeah. just like you. Oh, you think I wasn't ready me. for an attack like this? Okay. Ah! 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 Ah!
already is my middle name. Shouldn't it be I'm Riley? You've been hanging around a secret too much. Batter up! Adios, Benitez. Ojo por ojo. Viva la moral! Benitez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, sí, Mama. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Benitez is private stash. Eh? <laughs> Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was baby Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si, viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you Are you a legend? Open the cell. 
With respect, the president has a Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you lose in this chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. We should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. Not yet, but I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes! Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Chuchis. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Yelena. Clara, the Admiral is dead. That's a huge blow to Anton's military. Well done, Danny. Some of the people here are a little too quick to celebrate. We party after Anton is dead. He's going to make Aleste suffer for the death of Benitez. You've done a good thing, Danny, but we can't let our guard down. The ancianos keep talking about their glory days. This party is aging me 30 years. Let's go. We're doing our own thing. We need Honoron. She's at a house on the beach. I'll drive. No. Let's ride. One of the grenades landed right next to a new tank. Follow me. Boom! 40 soldiers gone. We made a run. Oh no. I'm not drunk. I calculated my alcohol. I'm good to drive. You sure? I'm fine. So, here's why you're really here. I just got off the phone with Castillo. What? He said, if I turn you in, he will release all of the outcasts in El Este. You're joking, right? It's for the greater good, Danny. What? Aren't you ready to sacrifice yourself for the good of Yara? Coño. You're fucking with me. Of course I am. Shit. Lighten up, Danny. Besides, I give up Lorenzo first. <laughs> Where are we going? First to Honron, then our island. With Benita dead, it's safe to go back there. You have an island? It was our place to hang out, hook up, drink. I'd go there to study. Hell of a mix. <laughs> Honron and her brother showed it to me. Honron has a brother? Yeah. He and I... We had a thing. No shit. Where is he? I need another drink for that story. We're here.
You two always go be like this! Oh! Yes. Yelena, you suck. Cállate. I was studying while you were playing games. Hey, it's trying that counts. <laughs> what are you, the fucking UN? Let's get Danny a trophy for trying. What's next? Is this gonna be party Jelena or wiki Jelena? Fuck off. You getting the grill? You know how I feel about using that thing. Animals have goddamn brains too. You know dolphins can use tools? Cojone, there was a beautiful second I forgot you were vegan. Can you show Danny where the grill is? Yeah, yeah, you monsters. Danny, grab that. I'll show you where to find meat or fish to cook. Or plant-based food for the good of your soul. I wonder who's going to show up. Hmm, no mosquitoes. That's weird. We came here to celebrate. Everybody's throwing meat on the grill and... I ask them to make room for my veggies. And everyone starts making fun of my veganness. I'm a fun drunk, okay? But if I hear, eat some fucking arroz con puerco honrón one too many times, I kind of lose my shit. Just a bit. I will remember that for later. <laughs> well, you've been warned. So I'm pissed. My big brother, Gerardo, sees people picking on me, and he fucking snaps. Grabs the grill with his bare hands. Hot as shit, meat still cooking, and chucks it into the ocean. Everybody was gonna kill me. Gerardo steps up, the way a good big brother does. <laughs> he always had my back when no one else did. He died, like, a week after that. I fucking miss him. I'm sorry, Horro. But I'm sure he's happy we took down Benitez. <laughs> Gerardo wishes he was at this party, for sure. He'd always say, we're not here to feel like shit. We're here to erase the past, and drink to our future. And to eat our veggies, right? <laughs> exactly, Danny. The grill's over there. Watch out for the sharks. I'll show you where to find some good hunting. You just need to point me in the right direction. <sighs> this island reminds me so much of Gerardo. Oh. Honron's brother? Yeah. What happened to him? In the early days of La Moral, Honron and Gerardo were so reckless. The two of them did this stupid smash and grab on a checkpoint and got arrested. I tried to bribe the guards to free them, but they could only get one out. I had to choose. My heart said Ficarardo, but Honron is the best guerrilla we have. You picked Honron over your boyfriend? I did. I had a plan for the next day. We were going to break him out, but Benitez executed all the prisoners as punishment for Honron being freed. She doesn't know. Gerardo was thrown up at the fort. Bing. I think about that choice every day. And the truth is... If I had to do it over again, I'd still pick on Ron. It's the right call. It's just... Well, you know. There's only one person responsible for Gerardo's death. And that's Castillo. Gracias, Danny. But I was born with an eye for bullshit. In La Revolución, we are all guilty. Just some a bit more than others. I think Libertad might have a bit more faith in humanity. And that's why I'll never join you. Something wrong?
announcement. McKay Industries invests 100 million into El Presidente's vision. So we hit McKay. He's the money behind Castillo. No. First we kill Castillo, then McKay won't matter. Yeah, what the fuck do we care about a Yankee in a suit? It's the money. No money, no tanks, no bullets, no soldiers. I got it. Yelena, Honron, Lorenzo, me, and all of La Morale will go after Castillo. Danny, you kill McKay. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I was getting tired of talking. Reply! Yes! Batter up! <laughs> Elena, what's wrong? That was Gilberto. The attack. It wasn't to take the fort. It was to keep us inside. <laughs> El Tigre. What 
the fuck was in those bombs? did we lose? Uh, Where's Horon? Danny, just... just get to Patriot to speak! Bad time for an I told you so. I came to say goodbye to an old friend. Back in 67, we didn't mourn our dead. Death was glorious. We were stupid. Castillo and McKay crossed the line today. More will die and nobody is safe. Not an old legend. Or a new one. Or the leader of LSD. Or the fist of the revolution. We have to stop Castillo and that Yankee. We? Oui? You kids look like you could use a little luck. to get off this mountain. I don't want to hear a word about how Libertad and Clara fucking Garcia could have helped us. Not that you would, just... Mira, Honron and El Tigre are gone. Let's save our tears for after the war. Compartmentalize. Move on. That Yankee fucker McKay and his business are now our main focus. I need to learn more about his operations so I can plan our attacks. I need you to take out signal jammers. They are blocking all wireless data transfers in La Jolla. Destroying a couple of them will give me a connection to the packet they am giving you. Pop that thing into any computer in McKay's building, and I will have access to his network. We will find that Yankee's weak points and bring him to his fucking knees. I uploaded a pic of the jammers to your phone. Am I looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except the family. Great. Don't worry. Philly can help you. Is your inn? Is at his shop near the Martinez airstrip? Ah, uh, nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Danny. What kind of person works in a place like this? Are you Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 Philly here. Whoa, what's in your bag? No where I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? And you hold that down for me. That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad! Those are big names to throw around. 
but I don't see Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. Okay. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. That's what he said, what did you want? Philly Magic, baby. Want us to help you, Berta? You need Carlos Montero, our backbone. His family is gonna save our land. Great, take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero? <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. La espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. La espada, oh, man, she's a fiera. <laughs> oh, 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 next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, deal? No. Well, then don't let the potion get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. you try to blow up? Oh, the hero! Que hola! What's this plantation look like? Uh, you know, uh, cigars, white suits, dinner parties. Except with guns. Come on, big city hero. We're in the west now. It's a plantation! It's an old building with tobacco all around. This pal got her size on a lieutenant, so she's probably inside. Who is she after? I don't know. The Monteros play it quiet here. Coño, this espada isn't fucking around. Blood, sweat, Shit, another one. Nobody else. Nobody believed it. But I never doubted our abilities because true yards have the strength and ambition to see my vision, to rebuild paradise. I would like to see that. You. Stop! Please! Who the fuck are you? 
Dani, from Libertad. You baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking Philly. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? Please don't kill me. <laughs> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, Private Island. Go where you need. No, but it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by oh. one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right aquí. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. Here, girl. We'll take the horses outside. Okay. Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced up. Military's going to be on our ass. Intruders! We got soldiers down! Intruders! Oh, what the hell? Go, girl! There. Binga, we got trouble! Oh. Binga, over there! Let's go. This way. Come on. Right behind you. Keep up and stay close, okay? Okay! Don't worry. I'm a friend. Vamos, let's ride. Easy. This way, quickly. Shit! Tank! This way! Over here, under the bridge! That went pretty good, no? Okay, I think we lost them. See, si. we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? The military academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a mean mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew Jose is the real problem for us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon el Pequeño. Little Napoleon? Cute. The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for 200 years, and now he's turned it all into slave camps for that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Poison made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need Libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But Papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trust his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others Clara sent. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe.
How far away is this camp of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no, it's okay. Getting some good cardio in. What's going on? You're in the West now, Guerrero. The sword and the hero. <laughs> nice to see you two alive. But I'll find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but lucky for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. <laughs> Dale, papá. Esa jefe, claro que sí, cojones. Dale, dale. Oh. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Eso. Okay. Who were you? Scouting. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is. I'm not asking you. Easy, papá. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, not fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon el Pequeño? Hey, 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 leave Chorizo out of this. Our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us? That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. Save it for dessert, buddy. Come on. Clara, I made contact with the Monteros. How did it go? Well, Carlos wants nothing to do with me, but I get along with his daughter. Dale, I think she's on. my way in. Good. They have to see you as one of them, Danny. That is how you gain their trust. Stay in touch. Hola. Glad you stuck around. Lost tourist? Listen, Carlos. I know you don't trust me or Clara or Libertad. Or well, the other little come mierda she sent. And I don't blame you. We have no history here. You got that right. What else you know? I know that Napoleon El Pequeño stole your land. I know that the poison he sprays on your fields is killing your people. I know that you are sick. And you would rather die than ask for help. Don't throw anything away that you can use. The depot where they store the poison? Burn it to the ground. The dusters. Let's spray the tobacco. Rip them apart. The fumigators in the fields. Kill them all. You got a jefe. Send me a postcard. Come on, girl. Fighting. Yo, Guerrilla, come here, come here. Come watch the fight, Newt. So, you want to join the fun? 
Think your bird is a champion? We will... Venga pa' acá! What's the greatest sport in the world? I like your style, Kiria. I've messed with poison before, but that's real thoughtful of you. I wouldn't go that far. Papa doesn't trust outsiders, but I've seen what you can do. Check the photo. And show him you know what the fuck you are doing. Carlos, it's Danny. Danny from Libertà. I know. You think I forgot or something? No, I just didn't know if... Forget it. I'm coming up on some of Castillo's poison. Look for yellow containers. Crop dusters and fumigators got the poison too. Okay, I'm on it. Buenas noches. To be careful here, there's the officer in charge. The camera needs to go. Get them!
anyone else with that shit anymore. Coño. Carlos, it's done. Good. Let's see if Napoleon and Pequeño gets the fucking message. I got more work for you. Come back to camp, trying to get lost, tourist. Carlos, got a truck. Good. Come get me at the gas station. On my way. Oh, master of disguise over here. Shut up and get in the back. Okay. First time going back to this place since I broke out. It used to be a school. I sent my kids there. How long were you inside? Eight months. Maybe more. Eighteen-hour days in the fields getting whipped and breathing in poison fucks with the memory. Sounds like hell. See, si, but I had Miguel. We kept each other straight. Yeah. You said he was like the son to you. 
Toughest motherfucker I know. Raised him like he was my own. Taught him to box. He almost made Senor Yara before we got taken. How did you get out? Camila snuck in one night, sliced up three guards, took two bullets to her shoulder, grabbed a hostage and sprung me a Philly. Oh yeah. Sounds like his father. That's my girl, but she couldn't find Miguel. And by that time there was too much heat. So we left him behind with more of our people. Just hope there's something left of him. We're close. No more talk. Carlos Montero, what are you doing here? Where's Miguel? I don't know. The guards took him somewhere in the prison. Mierda. It's off. We walk. Go. I'll find Miguel. If you get caught, it's you against the fucking army. It's okay, Papa. I wore my big boy pants. Crazy motherfucker. Meet us at the gas station when you go to. Suerte. De pinga. I don't even know what this guy looks like. Better be Miguel. Let's get the fuck out of here. Lead the way. Carlos, found Miguel. Good work, tourists. Now get him out of there and meet me at the gas station. Okay. Anyone else waiting with Carlos? Acere. You ask a lot of questions. Just him. Almost there now. Senor Yara, come on, get in! Hell yeah, brother! I knew you'd come for me! Coño! <laughs> you look like shit! I thought you motherfuckers were on rations. <laughs> Still a dick. Still dry. Good for you. I'll drink his. <laughs> Miguel. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't come for you sooner. I tried. You know I'd never forget you. Enough bullshit, Carlos. We do what we do to survive, mi hermano. You 
Enough talk. Give me that fucking guitar. <laughs> You did good, Tourist. When I first saw you, I wanted to gut you like a crocodile, but... You're Montero now, Danny. Gracias. So, do I call you Papa now? Shut up and drink. Big bark, amigo. Hmm. Well, I have all this old meat. You want a snack? <laughs> yeah, you do. There. Never worked so hard for a dog's love. But you deserve it, Perito. Huh. This should be enough to make us amigos, right? Right? For me? Nice! Sneaky little sausage. Chorizo, you're so cute. You know that? Another present? Chorizo, you're too good to me. Hey, not bad, Chorizo. You got stashes all over the place. You need to get here. Hmm, clever boy. been holding out on us, huh? Merda! You're really spoiling me here. Does Philly know about all this? Probably helped you steal this shit. Gracias, Chorizo. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thank you. 
just the face I want to see. So, we're good friends now, see? No hard feelings? Almost blowing you up is the past. We got to look to the future. And I see a military truck in your future. With special ammo, special weapons, and a special sauce. And Philly wants it real bad. I like to plan ahead. And I got big plans to bump up the Montero firepower, see? First step is that truck. They're loading it up at Ocaso Marina. Bring the truck back to me in one piece, Hiro. I got big plans, buddy. Suerte. Bring it back and we'll talk. How do we win? We build. No if any reason the military would take over a weather station. You're in the west, right? I've been wondering about that place myself. See if you can find a computer. They must be logging whatever they're up to. Sure. I'll take a look around.
What does this unlock? Okay. Careful, Danny. Billy, I'm at the marina. Now, whatever happens, just don't bounce the sweet baby. <laughs> what? The truck, don't damage it. Drive like there's a big bouncy baby Philly in the back. Bouncing baby Philly. Got it. You're gonna make baby Philly cry. Okay. Just bring that truck back in one piece. Okay, hero? Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Right where Philly said it would be. Go over there. Hola, is this Yami? Found your number on a poster about racing. Oh, if you like racing, 
You called the right number. We do it guerrilla style. Each track is marked with checkpoint flares you gotta drive through. Try to beat the best time. You in? Fuck it. I'll try it. That's the racing spirit right there. I like you already. Suerte. Hola, Philly. One very tall truck is on the way. Okay, send it straight into my low in But don't let nobody follow you. Huh? Be like a cat in the night. A smooth, sleek, sexy cat. Yeah. Eh, I'm more of a dog person. So is Chorizo. But he forgets sometimes. Cicula, Cicula. The hero returns. Yeah, and the hero needs room. <laughs> Big guy. What is happening here? Philly magic, babe. Yeah, but I almost died for packing foam. No, 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 no. White gold. Hard to get? Birds like a motherfucker. Everything gotta know a purpose, Hero. Even you. Hola. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Villarreal. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. This guy has a serious pest problem. 
I should take a look inside. So this is Alvaro's place. No sign of Alvaro or the Mongoose. Sounds like he's coming from that shed. Oi! Get back here! Shit. Better be careful. Wapo, come back! Your mongoose reign of terror is over. And thank you for the key. to be done with this place. And more pussies. Mierda. They're serious. Attack, what? a lot of risks for one lieutenant. Want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once, south of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, it's the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. No me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, that's how he got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling, ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit. But if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. 
We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. Smoking Mexican. Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Shit. Que pasó? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's... With the lieutenant we were looking for. It looks more like a scientist. Stay close to you. No. My hit the lieutenant. To know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. intel on where that scientist went.
TV. Here you go! Madre de Dios. He says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Jose's got a computer around here. Who's there? Go. Dale. Big gun.
Found it! Wait for me! No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojones. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny. <laughs> Got to look closer. Come back. Oh, all this shit. Get him. If you
Here, boy. Dog. Joriso, come back. Contento que me encontraste. Help me. Dios mío. Thank you. Gracias. José es a monster. Never see my children again. José is a psychopath. Espada. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Revmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then how are you gonna tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need familia, you to know. Mi familia. Hey, look, it's Danny.
Hey, a magic horse. So! Supply drop diverted. Confirm retrieval at new location. Copy. On the way. A special delivery. Just for me. How nice. Why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El come mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation. Make him look bad I in front of old moving. Uncle Anton. Lot of heat. How you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it. Chorizo! Expectations. 
Alarms too tough to shoot. Moving! Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time. Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pal carajo. Ale. Suéltame. Cojones. And I am telling you now, I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running through the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you got yourself. What is it? The spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa is sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa.
Hola. You good? Sí. I never thanked you for helping me track down Ali. I wasn't exactly honest with you. All good. Just glad I know the real story now. I was worried you wouldn't help if you knew my brother was military. He's a traitor. See, si. but he's still family. Come back to camp soon. We got more work to do. Take. Doesn't matter, they're our people. How many times are we gonna bail them out, Papa? When does it end? Camila, this is family. I say we cut our losses. Well, you don't get a say because this isn't your fucking camp. What's going on? Jose got our people. He's gonna hand them in Verdera Square. Their own fucking fault they got cut. No, it's your fault. How many times have I told you they need to learn what it is to be a guerrilla from us? But you, you never listen get faith you have to give it i don't like it so what we're just going to leave them behind mierda i know what that's like small pack us five we go in grab our people kill whoever gets in our way jose is going to have military we will need eyes on them well the, the church got a built tower you can see everything from there stay the night in the tower before the execution don't want anyone seeing you get up there got just a thing for you hero Fill his rifle with a high power scope. I'll plant the gun. Miguel, me, and Camila at the square. Philly waits at the radio tower. And on cell phones. Pero hasta el final, Camila. Carlos. I'm near the church. Oye, it's Miguel. Miguel? Where's Carlos? He's busy. Can you get to the bell tower? I think so. Good. I left the rifle up there for you. Stay low. Don't let the soldiers see you. Okay. Suerte, my friend. Someone die. We need to show our support. Get them, Teresa. I'm happy to announce that I have captured several weak Yara and Teresa. Guilty of murder and treason. Today, they will be tried in Teresa. Teresa, over here. Go get them, boy.
chorizo. Good boy. What the hell is that? A dog on wheels? We are in position. Okay, Jefe, I'm here. I'll keep the engine running. Suerte. Not sure until I say. Hello, Yarans! You honor me today with your presence, just as I honor you with mine. These are the fake Yarans, and they have no place here in our paradise! Gone. As punishment for their crimes. Ale's gonna die here. We need to move. Espada! I got, I got him. You cover me. Understand? Daddy, we gotta get him the fuck out of here. Chorizo, come here. I got him. He oh, just keeps shit. coming. Okay. 
Okay. Gone. That's a tactic. Go get them. Come back, Chorizo. You were supposed to cover us! The rifle jammed! 
Miguel left me a defective gun. Fuck! I knew we couldn't trust that piece of shit! They knew we were coming. The whole thing was a setup. Binga! Over there! Trouble! Is he breathing? His heart stopped. Hang on, Ali. Billy? In a minute! Whatever you're thinking, Camilla, don't. How do you know it wasn't your brother? We already know he's a fucking traitor. And what about Philly? He's the one who knows explosives. You saved your papa, but didn't think once to save me. You left me to die in that fucking camp. Billy, I think we're losing him. You think your papa had it bad? Think of what Jose can do to a man when he has the time. Stand back, Hero. I could have given up this whole fucking camp, but I didn't. Fucking Monteros. We're all dead, Camila. Castillo's already won. He's breathing! It's Bada! Balance your stance. A lion finds calm. Behold a kill. Si, sí, papa. Mm -hmm. Fire me! Ah! Que bien, uncle. <laughs> well, now you have heard of our great victory in the West. Carlos Montero is dead. His guerrillas on the run. The tobacco fields secure. Bien. Bien. Your cousin seeks praise, Diego. If I knew his plan, I would have told him that the Montero roots run deep in the farmlands. Two hundred years. Yes, uncle, I was trying to surprise you. Diego, how many of your uncle's soldiers come from the farmlands? Eighty percent, Papa. Correct. And now... He has made a martyr of the most famous Montero. <laughs> Let's see how many of his soldiers want to rebuild paradise now. Por favor. I, I... You killed my son's last bird. Run. What? Run. Oh, hello. 
I never got to thank you for saving my life. You and Camila could have left me to die, but you didn't. Gracia. Word got back from Father Pietro in Verdera. He has Papa's machete. It's all that's left of him. I want to go and get it back, but I'm in no shape. Papa is dead because of me, and I can't even do this for him. The priest is expecting you, Danny. If you'll go, that is. Gracias, Danny. Gracias. Clara, we walked right into a trap. Carlos is dead, and the brother Alejandro isn't doing much better. Danny, you can't let that family fall apart. We don't just need the Monteros to take down Jose. We need them to take Esperanza and put his uncle Anton in the ground. See, si, Clara, I'll find a way. Viva la revolución! Hola. Give us strength. Hola. Are you Father Pietro? Si. Sí. Alejandro said you'd come. You know, I remember the day I married Carlos to his wife. So long ago. I'm sorry. The machete is gone. What? What happened? Soldados. They'll be at their favorite bar nearby. La Raja. I'll mark it on your map. Gracias, Padre. And I'm sorry about the mess. <sighs> Fellow youth of Yara, this is Diego Castillo, Lion of Yara, son of our Presidente. Today I want to speak to you about... Alejandro, how you doing? Fine, I suppose. You got the machete? Not yet. He wasn't at the church. Cojone, where could it be then? Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it, mi herma. Danny. What's up? Just wanted to say, I know it might be difficult to trust me. Lots of new faces around the camp these days. It's okay. Well, not everyone can forgive like you have. Forgiveness isn't mine to give, Ale. You'll do your best. That's all I can expect of anyone. What do you got? You met Zenya yet? She's one of the best artists in Yara. I feel like you two would get along. You'll see what I mean. Thank you. The guerrilla. What can I do for you, Danny? Benito, feel like being a pirate again? We need resources, intel, allies. Only you can get them. I'll send you anyone I rescue. They will be happy to stick it to Anton. Soon you'll have your own little pirate army. Benitos Banidos. <laughs> I can't lie to you. I like the sound of that. Start sending people my way, and I'll keep an ear to the ground for opportunities. Viva Libertad! Viva Libertad! There's a flamethrower. Can't hide from me.
Better watch myself here. What? Let's go, Chorizo! Kill them, Chorizo! Chorizo, get back here! Let's take you home. Alejandro, I got it. Your papa's machete belongs with the Montero, and that's where it's going to stay. Gracias, Danny, for doing what I couldn't. See you soon. Oye, Dani. Defendiendo a su gente con su valor y sin dar ni un paso atrás. No llores porque Carlos Montero partió con ideas de libertad. Y aunque no esté con nosotros, siempre lo vamos a recordar. Su siembra. Just because we saved you doesn't mean we want you. Come on. This is his papa's funeral. Carlos for Alejandro? 
shit trade. Alejandro, you've done enough. Go. Baba, he's your brother. Yeah, not yours. How's the leg? I never knew your papa, but my family worked these lands for 50 years. I, I have intel on General Jose. Let me give you his lieutenants. Por favor. You'll need new uniforms, compais. Can't sleep. I close my eyes and all I see is Jose and his three little pigs from the church. I want those motherfuckers dead. You know I made eye contact with one of them? Hijo de puta smiled at me. Smiled at me as my papa died. 
We tracked them down thanks to those soldiers who joined us. The three lieutenants are all partying at a hotel. Singao, I got my hands full with these recruits. I can't leave. So I want you to kill those lieutenants, Danny. Kill them all. And make sure Jose gets the message. Suerte, Danny. like he's at his ranch. Now to find the other lieutenant. I ask that you stay vigilant because the terroristas will stop at nothing to see their plan to. Making a break for it. Hey, Rojas, your target's leaving the area. Shit. Okay. Gracias. Let's 
Espada. One down, but the others aren't here. Motherfuckers. Check inside the hotel. See if you can pick up their trails. I need them in the ground, Danny. All of them. Okay. Okay. That's fucked up. Peña could be at her favorite spot. Time to go and take out both of these assholes.
Did you find the lieutenants? Not yet. But I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all these fuckers. Shoot. You ever lose anyone? Well, that's heavy. Just answer the question. See, si, Espada. I've lost people. My friends. Great friends. Castillo took them all. Doesn't get easier, does it? Ask me when this is all over. Yeah. I will. Be careful here. Yo de puta! What? I know here! Got to move! who like to hang out at this bar. She has some unique tastes. Good, fuck her. Ah, I'm going loca. 
Don't you have new recruits? Mind you, they can't shoot straight. Should send them to that academy you went to. <laughs> All I learned was how to scrub a toilet and say, Si, senor. They're good. They got you. I don't know. You're the best guerrilla in the West. They look up to you. Use it. You're full of shit, Rojas. I know. Bad dog. Espada is done. Really? See? Si. They're gone. All of them. Danny, I don't know how to thank you. This is justice for Papa. It's more than that. It's how we scare Jose out of hiding. It's how we show that little shit who he's dealing with. That's right. That's fucking right. Gracias, Danny. Hi, Danny. The camp ignores me, so I've just been observing. Everyone is trying to take down Jose Castillo. But they are not working together or thinking ahead. I know that Singao Jose. To take him down, you have to take back the skies. Destroy his anti-aircraft cannons, and he cannot shoot you down. Disable his radar bunker, and he won't be able to track you in his airspace. Offering some strategy is all I can do for you and these people. For Papa. Gracias, Danny. Gracias. Good luck.
Alejandro. I'm looking for the anti-aircraft cannon by Verdera. It's past the church on the north edge of town, next to a ridge and some farmland. Okay. But watch your back. Two anti-aircraft cannons are gone. The skies are clear. Good. Now you blind him. One of the new soldiers at camp used to work at the radar bunker. He says if you can get access to its computer, you can see the location of every anti-aircraft cannon in the west. But it's secure, locked down with key cards. You need to find a way in. I'm on it.
Over here. Que bola. Supply drop inbound, Guerilla. He's up for grabs, so you better get there first. Thanks a lot. Attention unidentified pilot. This airspace is restricted. Land now. Get
country free of terrorism and free of fear. How many of our countrymen will be forced to vote with the gun of a guerrilla pointed at their head? How can you be expected to vote with the lies of Libertad confusing your minds? As president, I have sworn an oath to <laughs> Get them what? Get him. Someone's out there. There's the computer. Time to see how good of a hacker I am. Kiss. Will you show yourself? No yara fucking bandwidth. Eso. Time to go.
I took out the radar. My family is lucky to have you around, Danny. When you stab Jose in the heart, give it an extra twist for me. Meet me at Susurro Caves. You're in a cave? You piss off the camp or something? No, 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 no. Not yet. Just come, okay? Got an emergency, medical. Sort of. Medical, mechanical emergency. Supply drop on the way to the fort. Copy. Retrieval team on route. Today's the day. Meet my new baby, Diesel Daisy. Feed her gasolina and she gives us diesel. Mixed with the foam and we got napalm, baby. Napalm. Going to light for help so you can see his hands from space. <laughs> Open up her valves and let's see what she can do, huh? Be gentle. She's nervous around strangers. Working on it. Work it, Hito. Work it. My hard headed Daisy. One more left. You need help, Philly. Good. We did it. No, 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 no. Got a problem. A super size problem! Oh. Hero! You gotta help me! The Binga! They see blew her top! Hero! We're gonna need parts to put her back together. First, a special circuit board. You can only get them off oil platforms. No problem for you. But we need something else. It's at the croc farm I used to go to. I'll send you a pic. You, you will know it when you see it. The pizza de resistance, like the French say. Oh, it looks like chorizo warm up to you, eh? That's a good sign, Hiro. He don't trust easy. Be careful, though. He's a heartbreaker. Okay, Hiro. Come here. You got something for me? 
If you've got time, my friend Chica Nunez is in a really tight spot. She'd be very grateful to have your help. Thank you. Hey. Billy, I'm at the oil rig. What am I looking for again? The circuit board hero. It's like a piece of metal with stuff on it. Gracias. Very helpful. I don't want to rush you. I don't want to rush you, but Daisy's waiting. She don't like to wait. Billy has me searching an oil rig for parts. Then you can kill two birds with one stone. Secure that oil for Libertad and try not to blow it up. We could use every drop. Got it. Almost got everything. Except for Philly's Pisa de Resistance.
Voila. In the clear. Hola, my friend. Hey, Philly, I can't take the suspense. What am I looking for? Krog head, Hero. You know, the head? Like the mascot? Very, very important. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have asked. Nope. Just do what you do best. must be watching me. With all these soldados around, I wonder if he made it out. Not sure I want to know what Philly's gonna do with this crockhead. a lot of hungry crocodiles. Keep my distance. You ate him, but that's love for you.
Shit. Yeah, Hero! Go your stuff! <laughs> Why is Daisy wearing an IED? Sometimes we gotta hurt the ones we love, Hero! After she makes some napalm for us. But first, I gotta fix her. With a crockhead? Yeah. He fires off the Filimaji. That's my Daisy! True love.
Good, they're about to. Oh, coño! I gotta get this truck out of here. You have to take care of this old Daisy. Don't let these dirty soldiers put their hands on her.
he says a goodbye from you. Ay, coño. No, stop. I want to remember my Daisy the way she was. She loved you. Only had good things to say. Ah, uh, okay. But she didn't die for nothing. She blessed us with gallons and gallons of her sweet, fiery sweat. And we're going to rain that sweat down on Jose and wash him <laughs> If only Daisy had lived to see it. I know. I'm sorry you lost her, Philly. It's just a machine here. Don't be weird. Hey, look, it's Danny. How do we win? Que vuelta, Philly. Hero, I hear you and Chorizo are getting along these days. That's good. He always likes the dangerous types. But listen, you got important shit to do. Grab me a military plane, okay? Air bases are full of them. Oh, and a pitching machine, too. Like the ones at Baseball Diamonds? Anything else on your grocery list, Philly? Can I grab you some cervezas, maybe? I'm already drunk on inspiration! Yeah. We just watch out for those anti-air guns when you're flying. Unless you want your ass shaved from underneath.
Deputy Boyer. Better be careful. For Elkast and not for baseball. Muchas gracias. I they were more than we Who would have thought they stealing. would even ruin you. baseball for us? Better not question the Philly magic. Wise words from our president. Good care of her, mijito.
special forces, of course. This plane should work for Philly. How to get in the hangar? It's beautiful, Hero! Time to work the Philly magic. I'll see you back at camp. <clears throat> Danny, we need you back at camp. What's going on? We need to figure out next steps. I'm on it. See you soon, Espada. Danny, we've picked up some intelligence on Jose. I think he's starting to crack. So things are going to get crazier. Just what I need. Just keep up the pressure. I'm heading back to the Monteros farm now. See what I can do. There's always something to do on a farm, Danny. <laughs> nice try, Clara. But you're a city kid, like me. So what's our next move, Espada? You got any ideas? You're not listening! You're not listening! Shut your mouth! We have to hit Jose's tobacco. Head enough out of you, Singao! You're just gonna let this happen? <laughs> Long time coming, Danny. <clears throat> Montero Justicia. Stop! Your brother's a traitor! See, si. And he'll spend the rest of his life making up for it. You ready to look in the mirror and admit your mistakes? You first, Camila. Fine. I voted for Castillo. I didn't want to, but Vivido was going to make us rich, wasn't it? Mierda, I doubted you. All of you. I blamed you for not being guerrillas. But Papa was right. To get faith, you gotta give it. If you want to... If you want to say, you have to think big. Hit him where it hurts. His tobacco fields. We dried out already. No, all of his fields at once. Draw his soldiers out, leave him open. That's smart. Well, lucky for us, Philly plans ahead. Me and the hero got you covered. Good. We divide our forces. Targeted strikes, checkpoints, guard posts, everything. In and out. And then we hit that airbase hard. Now what the fuck are we still doing here? Dale! Yaranos hasta el final, Roberto. Hasta el final. Paul Nino, metal bird, hellfire, and the hope of the West only one. So you've flown this? No, never. I'm afraid of heights. But I'll be the wind beneath your belly. Moral support while you rip Jose a new one. <laughs> oh, 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 hero, hero. You're gonna need my soundtrack. Philly magic. Oh, 
Okay, Philly. Let's see what you got. Philly magic, baby. Fucking Philly. Guerrillas, you ready? I want to hear you. Sanchez, ready. Torres, I'm here. Napalm Nino, all good up here. Serrano, ready. Ortega, let's fucking go. We draw out Jose's forces and leave the airbase open. Then we hit him with everything we got. Let's kick some ass. Holy shit! It actually works! Billy, you're a fucking genius. Boom! Fuck yeah, Philly! You like that, El Pequeño? Still got more to burn. Done now. Oh, hell yes! That takes care of the Viviro. And you're next, Jose. Gotta get to that airfield. Ortega, where's your status? I don't see anybody yet. I think we're clear. We're south of the base, ready to move. We going to start shooting or what? Three o'clock. Open fire. Son come mierdas on the left. Watch your fire. Hold your position. Don't move until I say. Espada, you okay? Si. Now get your ass over here. On my way. Almost there. Where's our tiny head at? One of our guerrillas said he spotted him in the control tower. Okay. Head in there now.
Not here. Coño, you sure? Little Comemieta could be hiding in some tight places. No, he's.
Lisa. One million if you kill her. <coughs> Two million! Got on cigarettes. You couldn't find these out here. And Don loves me. He'll send this army to rape and murder every one of you fucking Monteros for this. I don't see no Anton. Or your true yard and friends. You know. My papa gave me this blade when I was seven. Told me how to throw it, how to kill with it. <clears throat> you look just like him. Tell me, is there enough of him left to bury? <clears throat> but this blade doesn't really say Yara's might, does it? You took my land. 
You took my papa. And now it's time to give. No vemos, no polio ni el pequeño. No like I remember it. Alex gone. Again. That's his choice. And Papa? Did he get a choice? Did he get to see us win something? You never would have won anything if he was still here. How the fuck would the Queen of Libertad know? I know he was never going to give you the farm, Camila. Or the camp. But look what you achieved. Espada, you are what the camp needed. You are what Libertad needs. You are the one to help us take down Castillo. She's not wrong, Espada. There's no future for the West without help. And there's no future for Libertad without the West. Monteros don't shake. We drink. To the Montero. To the future. You want to confess? Confess. Why are we here? You never even liked Jose. Why? He was an asshole. Why? He was weak. Me papa had a saying. God gives victory to the lions. Sounds religious. <laughs> Me papa love Jesus. He would always say, Jesus would make an amazing Yale Presidente. Me and Dan always remember. Jesus was both the lion and the lamb. Rule with strength, but understand suffering. You believe that? After he was murdered, your grandmother and I were left to survive alone. She would always remind me of my father's obsession with that verse. She hated it. Why? Because he had it all wrong. Be the lion and the lamb? No. She would say, Anton, there are lions and there are lambs. Rule or be ruled. A Castillo must be a lion. For Yara is full of lambs. You don't talk about her. She was always strong, smart, powerful, but a woman in Yara. And in those days, she had the wrong skin to lead. Me, Papa, was a lamb. Jose is a lamb. Hmm. You want to know why we're here? You are a lion. And we eat the fucking lambs. Oye, Clara, I'm on my way to Valle de Oro. Good. I hope you find Maximus Matanzas. How do you know them, anyway? Talia and I led the first protests against Castillo, while Paolo mobilized the dissidents. We lost contact after the Esperanza riots. I saw those riots. A lot of people got hurt.
This is the fort. Looks like no one has been here for a hundred years. Hey! Uh, Maximus Matanzas! Dahlia! Someone was definitely here. Hmm. Maybe they left a note. They wanted others to follow. Clara. Maximus Matanzas was definitely at the fort. There's signs of a gunfight and shit thrown everywhere. That sounds like them. Can you pick up their trail? See? They won't be hard to track. That's what I'm worried about. Rápido, Dani. They try to run with that, idiotas. Pinga, so much vinyl. Help me out. Thank you, Guerrilla. You got it. The music must be Maximus Matanzas. I think I found Maximus Matanzas' hiding spot. But Castillo's soldados got here first. Looks like they're having some fun before they call for backup. You know what to do, Danny. Whatever it takes. Okay. Watch yourself, Danny. Careful, princess! Uh, uh. 
American weapons. Shit. Libertak useless. Should check it out. Juan, got a lead on a weapon shipment. American. Interested? Interested? Danny, I'm having a hands-free orgasm in this church. Call me when you find them. Gross? But yeah, okay. That's the last of them. You! Get me down from here! Okay, okay! I'm coming! What, carajo? Ah, ping! You must be Dahlia. Move. What the fuck? Hey, uh, you think I could keep this? No, yes. Hey, man, you just saved Maximus Matanzas, the most blessed motherfucking group in Yara. Though I would have done it myself personally, but, you know, I couldn't stop crying. Get out of my way. I'm Bicho, man. I'm from Mexico. Get me the fuck out of here. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna behave? Mi amor. F fuck you, Talia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy-ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Oh, big man, Palo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank-ass swamp. Fucking puta. Coño. <laughs> That's just foreplay. Okay, okay. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me. We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit and so are you. Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> They're animals. Everybody! Soldados are gone! Come on out! Oye, Clara. Good news. Maximus Matanzas is safe, and they've actually got a decent camp here. Bad news. They don't give a shit about Libertad. Give it time, Danny. They've been through a lot. We can't beat Castillo without Talia's voice and Paolo's discipline. You just need to help them find it. Okay, Clara. Gonna trust you know what the hell you're getting me into. You got a leash for that croc? You here to pick up Paolo's so slack? actually there. We got... A lot to do here. How did you get out? Shh, shh. All these screams and people running and the fire and the music still. Late. Stay strong. Sounds about right. You better be ready to fight.
You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are they musicians too? Talia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. Thought I was the only dropout. Papa was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled. When Papa found out I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Liberta can help all of you here. Liberta? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did he get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla, Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy, and I have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Bembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. Segunda. Bembe deals in the church. Finally. Danny, want to get down and dirty? And by that, I... Free elections, free expression, free the outcast. Attention unidentified pilot. This airspace is restricted. Land now. What? I need to help Paolo pay off a debt to some black market smuggler named Bembe. Do whatever it takes, Danny. If Paolo was able to build that camp on the run, imagine what he could do for Libertad when he decides to fight. Understood, Clara. Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. What is wrong with Ola, asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I sell your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Palo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda. You got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. 
After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Three years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull, buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? Goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking Dende. Apple. Okay, Rojas. I need you to pick up my key from my business partners. Where are they? At the hotel. My associates are named Dimitri and Vasily. They're Russian and they're twins. I'll make it easy and send a picture. You're too kind. They say kindness is the lowest form of manipulation. This is a simple job, Rojas. Get me my key and Paolo will thank you. I don't want Paolo's thanks. I want Paolo's debt cleared. We all do, Rojas. Me most of all. Right. I'll get you this key. But then you and Paolo are square. Understand? Love you, Ross. Bye bye. Esta es Radio Verdad, la estación nacional de Yara. Sabias palabras de nuestro presidente.
bomba. I like them. I've been busy. See, well, I miss you. Team Juan misses you. And if you can get your ass promoted, we can have some fun hooking you up with my beautiful toys. Soldiers at the hotel. Might be. Hey, I'm just trying to help you. You don't help people that way. You use them. I'll take that as a thank you. No soldier. Are you Dimitri or Vasily? Dimitri, who the fuck are you? Bembe sent me. Where's the key? <laughs> so that's what this is about. Bembe fucked us good. First he sends military, then he sends you. I don't work for Bembe. I'm just here for the key. My brother has the key. The soldiers drowned him like a dog, but he didn't once beg for his life. He died in that fancy pool. Like a man, my Vasily. Gracias. I'm sorry about your brother. I'm getting out of Yara. You should too before Bembe stabs you in the back. Idiota Kusok! I never should have come to this godforsaken country! Bembe, you fucking hijo de puta. Ah, so you got my key. See, si, I found it on your dead Russian friend. Now, Rojas, the key opens a safe at Via Hotel. I need the black book inside. 
What's in that book? For you? Paulus freedom. Hey, you! Help me out! Gracias. No hay problema. I see you, Sniper. Looks like the hotel. And what a surprise. The army is here. Got to be careful here. Bembe, I'm at the hotel. And so is the army. But I think you already knew that. Thanks to delicious little surprises that make life worth living. Save me your bullshit. Let me guess. You want me to take them out? <laughs> you see? This is why I like you, Rojas. Don't kill those soldiers for me. Do it for Paolo.
Get them, Warpo. Bembe, it's done. I got your book. Muy bien, Rojas. I can see why Clara has so much faith in you. You are such a good little gopher. <laughs> Is that what you think I am? Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything to you. Tell me where to meet you. I'm across the north bridge of the hotel. All this for a book. ¿Qué tal, Rojas? Thank you for securing my new port. Thought you wanted a book from the safe. Can't a man have both? Of course, Via Hudia Hotel is the real price jewel. It's the best smuggling port on the south coast. You just needed someone to clear out the competition. The Russians made good money from this place. And with this book of corrupt officials in their pay, that money will now flow to me. We are done here. But you and I still have business to do, Rojas. You've paid off some of Paolo's debt, but not all. Don't worry. I have more work for you. Time to pay off some debt. I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded, so you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. His papers will get you through. Do this for me, and Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Everyone wins. When the boat leaves, the boat leaves. Some info. Paolo, you spoke to our mutual friend, Bembe. What did that snake have to say? He says I do this one last dirty job for him. You walk away clean. I'm not proud, but I do it again to get Talia and me out of Yara. Danny, I know the risk you are taking for me. I won't forget this. Thank me if I get through this in one piece.
What do you want, Bicho? Nothing. No, that's wrong. It's definitely something. I promise. Meet me back at the camp. I got an idea. Bye! Military's got them. Bembe, why is it everywhere you send me, I find trouble? Speculation is a waste of time. And time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Rafael is there somewhere. Gracias. Vamos. Oye, there are still hostages here that you need to free. Yeah. Did Bembe send you? See, si. Are you Rafael? I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's customers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. Bembe, I got your clients and your papers from Rafael. Okay, Ross. Now, make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. See, si. Okay. Everyone good back there? <laughs> Vámonos! Yeah, I'm in the truck. Boss waiting. Try not to damage the goods. Goods? I got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a truck full of money. My money. Ok. 
Broadcasting from Esperanza. This is Radio Verdad. Papers. Wait a minute, Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How do you think El Presidente is funding Maria's in face? Okay, go through. Then they better be here. Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, moment, amigos. This isn't your stop. Que coño? They're not going? Business expense. The fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. Hello. Good news. Bembe's off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. Checkpoint. Got to watch it.
Get him. For less than a week, I will. Shit! Danny, there's a checkpoint that's thought of everything we've thrown at him. We need you to clear it, Danny. to pick up Paolo Slack? We got a lot to do here. You train that thing? Damn. You better be ready to fight. Like to see Paolo pick up a hammer. Hey. Who 
Oh shit! <laughs> Yo. So you know, I'm a badass radio DJ. Okay, that's a lie. But you inspired me, Danny, with your guerrilla-ness. I dream of my sexy voice, Maximus Matanza's music, and Libertar's message all over the airwaves. I call it Radio Libertar. I dream of you spraying a logo all over Maria Marquesa's shitty propaganda. Here's spray paint and some bombs I made to make handing out flyers go way faster, okay? Counter propaganda right into the machine. <laughs> I got chills. You feel it down there? No, it's just me. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yes! Oh, I can't wait to tell you and Paulo see this shit. You. Yeah, you. Oye, bicho, a más segunda. Uy, about fucking time. You're slower than my shits after I ate too many platanos. I swear to God, bicho. What you waiting for? Spray the posters, plant the bombs, get the fucking word out. Radio Libertad is waiting to be born. Correle, chop, chop. Good spot for Bicho's flyer bombs. Planting explosives in a public area. What could go wrong? Fuck! 
nice weather, hmm? But I will continue to uphold this promise. What was that? Better get just throwing out some trash. Nothing to see here. Bombs away. Oh shit! I might have a career here. Good now. Bicho, going pretty good so far. Nice logo. Gracias. Just keep those edges clean, okay? I got it, Bicho. Like, keep your wrist loose, okay? Smooth strokes. I got it. Cojone. Love you. Those wrists loose. Attack. Over here.
<laughs> Check that one out. Beat you I'm done. No, 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 man. You're not done. Okay, again. Are you ready for oh, the no. next step? I'm ready. Okay, so Maria's on her way. There's a banner she's gonna unveil on live TV. And you are gonna swap it out for our banner instead. Oh, I am, am I? It's high up, but you can get there, right? You, you think Clara's gonna like it? Yeah, go team! <laughs> I'm into it. Go team. Mitchell's gonna be pissed if I don't swap out those banners soon. Whoa! That's a view. Bicho! I can now add vandalism to my list of capital offenses. <laughs> More like the list of shit that makes you a fucking badass! Come meet me at the gas station outside town. Kurele! Go, go! Mira, it's starting! And now for a special announcement. Hello, my beautiful foreign friends. Any questions before we begin? Minister Marquesa, are you concerned that- How do you respond to rumors that Diego Castillo is your son? I don't. Diego Castillo is the first son of Yara, and an example to all true Yarens. Now, it is my pleasure to unveil the construction of the Anton Castillo True Yaren Cultural Center. Pagenla immediately. You see? This is the kind of cultural pollution we are fighting against. Ah, uh, we just need to borrow your phones and your cameras. <laughs> Everyone in Yara saw that shit! Oh my god, Danny! We have so much to do! I'm blowing my own fucking mind! <laughs> Radio Libertad, baby! 
Hey, you're on the air. No, but we are so close I can taste it. Come to my ranch. Why? Because I'm there. Isn't that reason enough? Danny, the dream is coming alive. Radio Libertad, baby! Hey, you're on the air. No, but we are so close I can taste it. Come to my ranch. Why? I'm a Don't worry. I'm a friend. Easy.
Here, Kerija. Tell me what you know. If anyone finds out I did this, I'm dead. This is where the supplies are. Keep it quiet. Hey, thanks. Pichu, are you here? Pichu! Get ready, Yara. I'm coming for you hard and fast, but hard fast through. Danny, Colonel! Welcome to Radio Libertad. Marquesa locked down the internet, so we're taking over the radio to give Libertal a voice. But Yara's old ass network is cock blocking me. It's from like, what, 1993? The red antenna tower things around here shoot out the signals, but most of them are broken or point the wrong way. I tagged all the broken shit, fix and rotate them, por favor, for our dream. We're gonna give Yara the truth it needs. Did I ever tell you I love you, Danny? Hola. Haven't seen you before. What?
Okay, bicho. What did you take from me? Soldados are in my way. Better watch myself. I see you, engineer. Out! Now! I need cover! Check that. Hey! Trespassing is prohibited, rata! Yeah. Soy yourself! Okay, Find out who did this. Matalos! Something is not right. Okay. Antenna's powered up. Two more to go.
Talk about us over. Okay, Vichu. What did you mark? Vicho, I'm at the apartments. Oh, that place is resolver to the max. They steal from the grid to live. But one of their control panels is fried. It's calling off power to one of my antennas. Get on that roof and find the por favor. Follow my blue graffiti to the control room up there. It's locked. But that never stopped you before, right? Never, Bicho. Fuck ya! Yeah. Radio Libertad is gonna light up Yara with truth! Should check the wiring up there. Get ready for Radio Libertad. One more tower, and Radio Libertad is born.
Bloods here! I'm near the tower by Cafe Taza. Por qué? You sound stressed. My buddy knows this guy who sells calling cards on the corner. And he said Marquesa cut off this other dude's balls for doing a mural without Ministry of Culture approval. Getting cold feet? I will no. Marquesa can fuck off. But if she comes to me, Danny, protect my balls, okay? Okay. Bichos graffiti. Control should be at the top of the tower. Boost the signal. Picho! Go time for Radio Libertad. Fucking 2G connection. Being that, that voice. Jammer's gotta go.
perro. Voice. Jammer's gotta go. Officer. Rank won't protect you. Get 
Gotta get up the tower. Gotta flip the switch on the amplifier. Shooting at me. Oh, right. Cool, cool. Viva Libertad! Viva Libertad! I think I lost them. Over here.
No! What am I supposed to do? Teleport or something? Konyo, sensitive, aren't you? Call it to shit that annoys me. Call you when I'm there. Dalia, I'm at the zoo. Good. I'm up on the body door, that big spinning ride. Okay, I'll find you. repeating history. My history. Yara was built by slaves, and now so is Viviro. El Presidente is afro yarin and doesn't even realize the fucking irony. He has innocent people down there. People from our show. We did one in Esperanza. Caused a riot. Castillo's minister of bullshit propaganda, Maria Marquesa, blacklisted us. Locked me up in her academy and tried to fry my brain. But I was lucky. Palo busted me out. Told me to move on, but... I can't, not with people locked up down there. In cages, sleeping in their own shit like I was. I don't got skills to break people out. You do. Save them. I'll stay here, be your lookout. Need to move fast or people are going to die. Mierda. Time to free these people.
Get them, Wapo. Gotta make sure everyone's out first. They were going to feed us to the dogs. Gracias, gracias. Security cameras all over this place. Some footage could change a lot of minds. Fuck yes, Danny! Broadcasting footage! Bicho will know how to get that to as many people as we can. 
I'll look for the control room. The footage must be in here. Okay, the footage. Clear down here, and I got the footage. Now I see why Clara likes you. Maria's not gonna be able to cover this shit up. Don't worry, we'll give Libertad some credit. Just do your thing, Dahlia. Okay, meet me at that shitty Anton statue by the front gates. This is worth it. You'll see. Trust, Danny. Trust. Pick up Paulo Slack. We got a lot to do here. I got a problem, Maria. Hey. Oh yeah. Fucking Paulo says finding a way off Yara is priority number one. 
He wants to run while we got real problems. I heard our friend Matias is locked up in Marquesa's True Yarin Academy. He's a doctor, but they took his fucking license for helping us out. It's like it's a crime to help anyone who's not a true Yarin. And now they're going to fry his brain till he's dry humping Castillo. I would know. They tried that brainwashing shit on me. Palo won't risk saving Matias until the heat dies down, but you're up for it, right? Matias is a fucking saint. Don't let Marquesa break him. Got eyes on an engineer. Dahlia, I'm at the academy. Looks like the inmates took over. Oh, fuck yes. Should make this easy. No, listen to me. The army is here. There's going to be a fight. Then get in there and get Matias out before the army storms the place. That's what guerrillas are about and shit. Bodies over here! Are you Matthias? You don't look like a doctor. What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Dalia sent me to break you out. Fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor!
Matias, I got your kit. Get back, fast. Soldados are at our door. Kiria, where's that kit? I'm on my way. Get him. Get him!
ก่อนมาติอัสไอ้ทุกเรื่องของพวกเขาและไอ้ทุกเรื่องของพวกเขาของฉันมาดูสิเราทำดีครับดานี่จากลิเบอร์ตาเราทำแบบนี้มาก่อนไม่มีปัญหาเลยขอบคุณมากแต่แค่ทรูยาร์นจะได้รับการรักษาที่ดีเหลือเราเราทำแบบนี้เมื่อเขาทำการรักษาปากของพวกเขาไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะไรเปลี่ยนแปลงแบบนี้ไม่มีอะ
appreciate this. Bicho, I'm at Maria's villa. Are you here? Yeah, yeah, soon way. But, uh, are there soldados? Of course. It's Marquesa's fucking house. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'm gonna be a little late. Relájate. There won't be a single soldier when you get here. Should disable the alarm. Safe to come out now. Orale, Danny. Meet me up front on my truck. And, uh... <clears throat> you need help. Uh, see, si, with gear. That shit's heavy. <laughs> Okay, Maria's got the best gear set up here already. We just need to turn that shit on. We? Oui. You think Talia will turn on the antenna, lights, speakers? No way, man. Okay, okay. I'll help. Shit, yeah! I got a roadie! And Radio Libertad's happening. I'll be here, monitoring your progress. 
Motherfucker. Okay, antenna is live. I'm gonna get your roadie now. Damn, Marquesa's got a serious light board. Bicho, gear's good to go. Honey, so lifelike. Where the hell are Paolo and Talia? <gasps> like shit. <laughs> this always happens. This always happens before a show. Right. Finally. Verdad sobre todo. 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 Falla, porque en la calle se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos dando la talla. Hey, canalla, somos los llaranos. Tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya. Y bueno, es un pueblo que arde metiendo la galla. Yo me tralla. Quiero que todos salgamos con puños arriba. Quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa. Este día llegan respuestas definitivas, progresivas. Sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso, seguimos tomando... Danny, protect the gear. Soldados will try to kill a broadcast. If the equipment goes down, Radio Libertad goes down. I won't let that happen.
Europa. Hitler seguramente es tu hermano, justifican sus horribles acciones con lo mundano, con guerrilla. Desterraré nuestra censura, si quieren sálganos del Ministerio de Cultura. No tenemos miedo, le decimos Tokio a tatadura, porque Yara será libre de tu mente y tortura. Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Should I run to America like a pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh, yeah. Smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Oh, so now you're against Libertad. After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here. It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me. A real man doesn't run! Suerte. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Don't think so, mi amigo. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? Que clase de tontería es esta, Maria? Yes, it is the Americano. Let's talk Viviro, a cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father, but Americans will wait, just like everyone else. Yesterday, your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yara did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who look like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry 
that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. Children sew our clothes. Sweatshops build our phones. And Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my Vibiro to America, my methods, your questions, no one will care. We're done here. For your father. Are you here to pick up Paolo's slack? We got a lot to do here. Try my best, Clara. I'll speak to Dalia, see if I can help them work out their creative differences. I trust you, Dani. Maria's face on fire. Ugh, Paolo's gone, but I still gotta scream. You and I, we're gonna take the war straight to Maria Marquesa. I've been waiting to do this a long time. First, her Ministry of Culture blacklisted us. Then they kidnapped me, tried to brainwash me, silence me. Well, we're going to censor la fucking censura, Danny. Her propaganda, billboards, advertising, her whole rum factory. We're going to fuck it up. Bankrupt her. By the time we're through, Marquesa won't even have any ass left money left. Her fucking propaganda machine took our voice, so we got only one option left. Our bullets. Hi. Make that bitch Hi, pay. Pablo got a real love-hate thing going. Got out. Danny! Danny! My best friend, my sweet little piglet. What? You, me, Segunda, Main Square, drinks, now. Sounds like you got a head start. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Coño. I'll be there when I can. Go easy, bicho. Oye, sending a pic of Marquesa's propaganda trucks. Sorry you have to look at her face. Just another reason to take them out. Been sick of hearing her propaganda bullshit since Castillo took over. Fuck them up, Danny. Maria's rum factory. Time to make some noise. The 
Yeah, there, watch my step. Adios to shitty Rome. Oh, shit. Someone's out there. <laughs> Come on. Maria's rum factory is gone, and so is the money she stole from it. <laughs> Eso! Now keep hitting her face. Billboards and shit, fire, bullets, piss, pew, blood. I don't care. Whatever you got. I'll stick to it. Go now. This Marquesa.
is starting to feel like an ex. Feel like an ex. Maria's going to get the message now. Oh, yeah, took care of that propaganda. Fuck yeah, you did. Let's go a little bigger, see? Just heard those coming mierdas are putting up another fucking Anton statue at El Presidente Square. I swear, it's the only way that guy can get hurt. He's as good as gone, Talia. Silvio, it's Vinci with Radio Libertad. We're coming right at. Dahlia, I'm at the statue. Bullets aren't going to cut it. I'm gonna need to blow it up somehow. Guess you gotta get creative, Geria. See. Maximus Matanzas is fucking dead. Radio Libertad is dead. We were the mouth of the revolution. Mouth. Mouth. And you know what's even worse? This bottle is empty. How fucked up is that? You and me got a date with some cervezas. And then those cervezas friends and family and cousins, every fucking cerveza on this whole stupid island. 
I have a plan. There's some soldiers here, and they have booze, but they 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 don't need it like like uh, like a we do. <laughs> Liberate the cervezas, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get your liver ready. We're gonna put that little guy through the ringer. Yeah, yeah. Some wisdom. <laughs> Bicho, our future is now. You are a genius. Let's do this. Priorities way. Oh, no. I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling it. Danny, you hear that? Music! Go, Danny! Can you play this? It will really cheer up my friend. Dale! Yes! This is my shit! <laughs> I'm fucking dancing! 
<laughs> Danny! Come drink with me! <coughs> That's better. Bicho! Where are you, you little pineapple hair fuck? Don't leave me alone out here! Oh shit! Oh. Danny? Hey, where are you, man? Uh, Danny! Picho, come mierda. Where'd you go? Danny? There's a really big dog here. Is that a cow? Where did you find a cow? He's really nice. He gives lots of kisses. Stay where you are. I'll come find you. <laughs> stop, stop it! Bad dog! <laughs> ¿Qué coño es eso? Oh, shit! Shit! What the fuck? Bicho! Your name is Talia now. And you're a good dog, Talia. Bicho! Hey, how do you become a guerrilla? Huh? Yeah. Like, uh, for Libertad. Does Clara give you a test? Yeah, be sure. She makes you get up at like four in the morning and do push-ups. What? Yeah, a thousand. If you stop, her buddy Juan shaves your ass and spanks you. And if you puke, they make you do math. Me lleva la chingada. Fucking math? No way. No way, way. You're full of shit. You're lying. <laughs> Since when did you want to be a guerrilla? Never mind. Forget it. Danny! <laughs> Get? I can't look at our old graffiti. It makes now is messed up. <laughs> Just Much like better. Me. Okay, that's every single one. Really? How, how many did you do? Like, at least a hundred. Nice! Drink? Danny, 
I need to hear their voices. I need Maximus Matanzas right now. I need everyone in this whole town to hear. The bicho, my little chalupa. I think it's time for some real guerrilla shit. Follow me. Picho. Let's make Saguna fucking dance! <laughs> For libertad! For every one of our failures, but I the Guerrilla is born. We must we purge must these failures. Con your sea! Go, Daddy! Fuck yes! I'm going to remodel Maria's office! <laughs> Hang on! There's a password? <laughs> Oi, pinga. Um, one, two, three, four. Wait, that worked? I think I'm done with this town. Then, let's get out of here. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it is. What is it? You. I mean you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me. They think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. That is not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this, and that's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends, just like you. Lito used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza School for the Lost. Then, cadet 2683. And after that, drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. And nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. Not a number. Not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla. Just like you. I use this. And you. You use that, huh? Ah. Hmm. But I could be a cool fucking gun too.
Danny, how are you holding up? Let's see. Palo's gone. Bicho's a crying mess. And Dahlia's just fucking chaos. I think it's time to face reality, Danny. Maximus Matanzas is too far gone. I'm going to head back to camp. Talk to Dahlia. Don't give up on them, yet, Clara. You're called, Danny. <laughs> you here to pick up Paolo's slack? We got a lot to hey. do here. Que bola. I want that bitch off How the throne. Doing? We hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. Sounds like I missed the best show ever. I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. Eyes up, Danny. Order now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvio Balboa Garden City. Urban Garden. Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro, a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support 
that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. It's possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> <clears throat> It all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. <sighs> Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, a volunteer. Smells like perfume. Then, mm. the fertilizer is working on the plants as we speak. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. I didn't think this could happen. I hear even more now than before. And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. 
Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren rom. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. Community. We have a rigorous selection process to determine which countries receive a Viro. We intend to stick to the rules. It is estimated there are 18 million new cases of cancer each year worldwide. How would you produce enough Viviro to combat this? Viviro is a young innovation, a new discovery. We are refining it to never be stopped by food delivery mechanisms. We have pills and injections and a pulling shot by gauges. Check it out. Special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Daria, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. Where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Fuck. Oh. Oi, let's go, let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Clara. Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? It wasn't the plan. Fuck. I don't think there ever was a plan. Look, you and Tali are at the top of Anton's shit list. Watch your back. A lot of people are counting on you, Danny. We got a chance here. Word is Castillo has a defection problem. Who knows? He might even surrender. You're dreaming, Clara. Fuck yeah, I am. I thought Ravio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport and he was with that fucker Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that could put Talia back from the cliff, Cardinal. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom! Soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there. Where are you, Paolo? I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. 
So that's when you sold him out. I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Ross. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Hey, Bicho! You got Paolo! You are a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. Uh, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho! I'll call you when I have him, okay? Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. Special Forces, go on you. Paolo, it's Danny! Paolo! 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 I'm not leaving without you! Love these new phones. They're so thin. <laughs> My pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Bibero. It would have gone nowhere if I had created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers? Daniel, come on, Cody, you're in the safe. You're with me now. Uh, he put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Get out to Matias. Fucking go. Oh, okay, okay. We meet there. I thought Ravio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport and he was with that fucker Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that could put Talia back from the cliff, Cardinal. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom, soldiers everywhere.
I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there. Where are you, Paolo? Saludo. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands.
Hey, bicho! Look at Pablo! You are a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. A, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Pablo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho! I'll call you when I have him, okay? Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. Special Forces, Gonyo. Paolo, it's Danny! Hello! new phones. They're so thin. <laughs> oh, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Bibero. It would have gone nowhere if I had created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers? Daniel, come on, Cody, you're in the safe. You're with me now. Uh, he put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Get out to Matias. Fucking go. Oh, okay, okay. We meet there. Matias! Need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. He was fucking El Doctor! He poisoned me! Need to get it out! Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up! Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Fuck 
about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Nita! No! This is surreal! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. Uh, how was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. Uh, I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? says to me. He screams, pity fuck. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Dan? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us, too. Just long enough to watch you and Lita leave me behind. Alejo, please stop. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to come together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. you steal, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Oh, how's Talia? You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Oh, fuck. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Bitch has gone crazy. Screaming about Bembe. Blaming him for what happened to you, me, and Talia. Last night, he took off while we were sleeping. I think the idiot's gone after Bembe. Don't know how Bicho thinks he's going to track him down. Bicho always had her back. And we never... Just find the little shit. Okay? We're going to war. I need to rally our people. Train them. That means no one gets left behind. Even Bicho. Good luck. At this stage... Every guerrilla counts.
Bicho! Bicho! You crazy common... Where are you? Ah, he's not here. Maybe he left something lying around that will tell me where he went. Mm. So, Bembe's buying weapons from the military. Looks like the handoff was at the Rodeo. Who lives like this? Give me some Bavira off the top, huh, Bembe? I should check that warehouse. If I find Bembe, I find Bicho. Be alive, mi socio. Oye, Palo. I think Bicho's done something stupid. What's he done this time? He's really going after Bembe. Stupid come mierda. Don't worry. I'll find him before he digs himself too deep. Hurry, Danny. Bicho's no match for someone like Bembe. Looks like a deal that went bad. Real bad. <laughs> Bicho set the bulls loose on everyone. What a way to go. Keep my distance. 
Dembe got spooked and killed his buyer. Micho must have followed him out. Paolo, the little maniac sabotaged one of Dembe's black market deals. He let the bulls loose as some kind of rodeo. Repinga, he's going to get himself killed. I won't let anything happen to him. It wasn't us. It was Enrique. He was the one stealing Vivido. I think he's still inside. <laughs> Ay, pinga, pinga. I'm unarmed! Don't shoot! Easy. Just tell me. A crazy kid come through here. Talks a lot. Hair kind of like a pineapple. Yeah. Came in here whiffing a gun around. Told me I had to tell him where my buyer lives. Guy called Bembe. Did you tell him? See, si. and then the kid ran off. Can you tell me where Bembe is? <sighs> Nobody knows exactly where his place is, but it's in Cruz del Salvador, near the border. That's all I know. I swear, please, just let me go. Paolo, I know where to find Bembe. Then that's where Pichu will be. Exactly. Sit tight, Paolo.
heard about this. Looks like Bembe hides out in an old slave shack on the plantation. Bicho, what the fuck? Get out of here, Daddy! I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off. No, you're not. Oh, I'm not? You don't think I will? Eh? Bicho, listen to me. You thought coming here was gonna fix it all. But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest, a parasite. Yes, you take and give nothing back. Bicho, don't listen to him. That's right, Bicho. Just a blood-sucking bark. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not a bark, man. You're not Bicho. What's your real fucking name? You wanna fix something? Pull that trigger. You need to shut the fuck up right now. My name's Paz. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're Paz. Your name is Paz. You're not Bicho, man. You're not a bug. You're Paz. And I need you with us, okay? You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. I really did. Paolo. Danny, tell me Bicho's okay. See, si. talk to Matt of doing something really stupid. He's a bit shook, but he's okay. Oh, fuck. Thank God. And Bembe? Still alive. Still a snake. Shit. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. There's always going to be a Bembe, Paolo. But there aren't many Bichos out there. When Bicho gets back, maybe tell him how you feel, yeah? He could use it right now. I will. I promise. Thank you, Danny. Nanny, how is my patient? Alive. Gracias. And I have another cool scar to show my friends. You joke, Danny. But it's these scars in your head that worry me most. Look, it's not a good situation here. Talia has an infection and we're low on medication. I'm sure Castillo has some to spare. You and I think alike. Hit these three checkpoints along the road west of my clinic. Hurry, Danny. Talia's life depends on it. I 
see you, buddy. Oye, Matías, I got the meds. Muy bien, Danny. Bring them to me in Barrial. Hurry, for Talia's sake. See you soon. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. See, si, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria's dead. Bebiro is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias Asinta. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man. Murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> Weren't you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. <laughs> <clears throat> 
I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions. Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now that Mama and Papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. Nice house. Being a true yardin pays off. Should check inside. Hey, it's Paolo. Just thought you should know what kind of monster Sergio is. Come and mierdas carried out thousands of fucked up experiments on outcasts. Even kids, Danny. It's fucking sick. And all of it just to make Bio Vida rich. Coño. I got to get this piece of shit. You will. Suerte. Where did that fucker go? Let's look around for clues. Where the fuck are these guys? Huh? Now they know I'm here. Matias, someone warned El Doctor that we were coming. Sergio's on the run. Paolo and I are on our way. Don't let that piece of shit escape. He's a fucking murderer.
Should get to the marina. Sergio might be escaping in his boat. There's that true yard and piece of shit. Shit. Fucker is fast. Gushing, great to or higher, laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Hey, me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. <laughs> Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Vivero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. I'm all out of mercy. And significant trauma to the skull. Shit. Danny. Come meet me at the lookout near the BioVida lab. We're going to hit a doctor where he lives. About fucking time. You and I are going to kill him, Danny. And we'll also hit Castillo where it hurts most. His fucking wallet. Well, look at that, Paolo. You made me smile. See you soon. Building 13. This is it. Viviro, the outcasts. Everything started with a piece of shit hiding in there. Only way I see this going down right is if you and I split up. I'm calling in a few of our guerrillas. We're going to plant explosives and fuck up his Viviro operation. It's not going to be easy, but you need to get inside those buildings any way you can and kill that fucker. It's us or him today, because we're not gonna get another shot. You helped wake me up, Danny. I was running from Castillo, Maria, all of them. Now these fuckers run from me. This one's for Talia. We're going to put that sick motherfucker in the ground. Gotta take out that alarm. Mierda. They're serious.
Ah, Swayin is with the gun. This place is built like a bunker. You'll need to find a clever way to get in those buildings. Got it. Special forces. Coño. Got to be careful here. from above. It's worth a shot. Sugar me to the roof.
What is this place? yourself a Yaren! I'm just a med student. Paolo, if you could see this. What is it, Danny? What did you find? El Doctor's lab. All his experiments. Keep your shit together. Is El Doctor going to die today? He's going to fucking die today. Help, Paolo. Are you okay? Can you walk? Danny Rojas. I'm impressed. You are a true survivor. But tell me, how is it possible that Libertad does not realize Destroying Bibiro also destroys Yara. You sick motherfucker! I've seen what Viviro is really doing. And I'm going to enjoy this a little too much. Not one for the bait, are we? Did you know exposure to concentrated doses of PG-240 wreaks havoc on the body? Fuck you! I'd kill a lot faster than cancer! Not possible. <laughs> about all those people. You just did the best thing you could do for them. Now, we have to get out. Relájense, mi gente. Juan is already on his way with a helicopter. Juan? How the fuck? You think I wouldn't find out what you kids were up to? Wipe that stupid look off your face and clear me a landing zone. Paolo, meet me at the helipad. And Juan, gracias. Fuck 
looking around. Get up. the fucking gun!
Tragedy. The goddess of victory picked us today. Enjoy it, guerrillas. Because tomorrow they'll be fucking someone else. You never listen to Pedro Torrero? This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! I thought I lost you. No, fuck no. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. But when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Picho. Si, Capitan. Queen Clara. I mean, Hefa. Call me Paz. Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest commandante. <laughs> you gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's no Pedro Torero. Exactly, Danny. La revolución vendrá, mi pueblo no aguanta más. Ay, con la yara unida, mi hermanos, que aquí venimos para luchar. True. Yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego! Si, sí, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Si, sí, señor presidente. Hmm. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Pinga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I am ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, just up. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. Hola. Danny. The farmers in Fernando Municipality have been extremely helpful to Libertad. And now they are getting a lot of pressure from the regime every single day. What can I do? You should talk to Senora Toca. 
and see what she needs. She's the president of the farmers collectives there. I'm on it. She just told Libertad that her farmers are about to break our agreement. We really need these people on our side, Danny. A jammer. We in. But if you move in now, my download speed is going to be really slow. And I bet Mickey's building will be swarming with soldados. See. Si. So I highly recommend taking out more jammers or gearing up for a fight. <laughs> to call me after I take down everyone? No. I was calling to let you know you don't have to call me every time. Smart. So how do you know so much about this shit? Seems pretty advanced. Funny story. I upset it up. You're kidding. Remember when Casillo started? He made all those big promises. I've never been one for politics. I didn't vote for him. But he promised to get Elete connected to not just the rest of Yara, but the world. When he won, he drafted any computer geek he could find to get El Este online. This story is not going to end well. Didn't take long to figure out Castillo was using us to set up a network to spy on people. A bunch of us tried to sabotage it, but the regime figured out fast we weren't on Team Castillo. So, are we being spied on now? No. We found workarounds. Shared them with Libertad as well. See? We can be friends. I'll call you when we're good. Elena, I'm at McKay's building. The place is filled with Castillo loyalists. How you handle those people is up to you. You might be able to do this and not be noticed. Hey, sometimes it's good to be noticed. Gilberto says part of the building is being renovated, so if you see construction, chances are there'll be less people. Thanks for the tip. Ugly building for an ugly business.
connected to a computer. Already downloading. I'm looking through some of the files. Find anything? Let's just say no one told me Kate to clear his browser history. Hold on. Coño, this computer gives me way more access to files. And... the building. What good would that do me? I skipped computer class. Oh shit. Checking. Danny, I have the office schedule. Says McKay might be meeting people there today. I'm crossing my fingers. Lock out the soldados when I'm in there. You got it, Danny. Come on, come on. Hello. How's it going there, backpack? How do you think, you Yankee asshole? Oh, well, Canadian asshole, actually. We're like Americans, except we say sorry as we slide the knife in. What you doing? You killed my friends. I'm here to pay you back. Mm. Gotcha. Now, when they died, did their brains leak through their ears and the nose? No, no, you know what? No spoilers. I'll check the footage once I put my little idiot to bed. Hey, primo job on Benitez, by the way. You did me a solid there. I was having this meeting with Castillo, and I saw the video of you animals hanging her. I mean, it's right here. It's on my phone, man. <laughs> he was... He was really ticked off. Good. You're next. Well, let's look at the facts. Your country's seven years behind the rest of us. If you just let Castillo and me do our thing, you people would go from third world to first. Like that. You people? Oh, I can feel their love. Jesus, Murphy, don't you get it? You're not my first gorilla. Yara's not my first shithole. This isn't personal, it's just your turn. So you just hang tight because I've got some real fun hombres heading your way. Sounds fun. What is that? What I need to destroy everything with your name on it. Security breach. See you soon, McKay. You fucking jerk off! Here, girl! Moving. What an hijo de puta. But hey, I got more intel on McKay and Castillo's poison operation. What's our next move? According to his files, the pipe network and the plant are a big deal. McKay put most of his security on them. Let's fuck them up. Which one first? Up to you. Rendezvous with me at Valera Lumberyard. Or Lucky Mama at Cardoso Mill. Yelena. Should I take out the rest of the jammers? Yes. The more you fuck 
with them, the faster my download speed will be. Faster download means more TV shows you can stream. No, a faster download means I can better help you with any operations where hacking is needed. Okay. And I can stream more TV shows. I knew it. I'll see what I can do about taking out the rest of the jammers. Looks like they secured the perimeter. Remember, you need to talk me through what you see in there. If I'm right, that place is important to the poison operation. Hey, Elena told us to hold the position. people are making the chemical weapons. The bombs. We have to go to the ship now. Let me do any computer you see. I'll overload it. On it, Elena. Look 
in there. <coughs> Come to the roll room. Nothing. The building is filling with that poison. Fuck. I saved you. I lost 20, 30 of us. Okay, Mama. I'm out. Danny, I want you to know I had no idea the factory would blow up. And I couldn't risk that many of my guerrillas. You did what you had to. If it ever comes down to sacrificing one versus many... I... If it makes you feel any better, Clara would have done the same thing. You're more alike than you think. Moving the puck on? How about the fact that we just completely destroyed Castillo's ability to make chemical weapons? This is a huge blow to the regime. So they can't make any more of the bombs they dropped on us at the hotel. All that's left is what was made before. Always another target. If you don't mind, I'm just going to enjoy breathing for a moment. So much damn. When I was a girl, the air here used to smell like the ocean. But the foreign corporations came, poisoned everything. Back in 67, we kicked them out. For decades, you could breathe the air. Then Espinosa started to sell off our industries. Then Anton took over. He opened the door for that Yankee McKay. His operation produces the poison needed to make Viviro. And the pipeline here is a vital part of that cancer treatment. Lorenzo showed me the photographs you took of their research. Disgusting. So Yelena and I came up with a plan to cripple production of Castillo's wonder drug. Think of that Yankee's main chemical plant like a heart. And all these pipes are like arteries. Cut the arteries, and the heart goes into a catastrophic state. So follow the pipes, Danny. Destroy the substations, and you'll create a pressure overload at the plant. That's when Yelena will access their computers, and we'll be able to kill McKay's poison operation for good. This is a big mission, and you're not alone.
and overload the poison silos from there. Or I could just shoot them. Being a guerrilla is about precision. Sloppy work leads to too many corpses. First stop station down. You know, I used to watch El Tigre's back when he was in the field. Well, I'm glad you're watching mine. What? Danny, did El Tigre ever tell you about Lobo? A little. That he was killed in combat. Why? You remind me of him. Clara's the politician. But you are a true guerrilla. Like Lobo, the lone wolf. I don't like worrying about others. Slows me down. But when the lone wolf makes the big kill, he doesn't like to share the spoils. Be careful, Danny. Why are you telling me this? Hello? Hello? Pinga. Sneaky. Got to be careful here.
Damn it. Another artery cut. Now keep cutting. I should have been a surgeon. I wouldn't go that far. Danny, I want to apologize for how I treated you when we first met. I was wrong about you. No need to apologize. I've just seen enough blood to last three lifetimes. And enough guerrillas who enjoyed spilling it. When you showed up, you had trouble written all over you. But El Tigre, he always knew a true guerrilla at first glance. He told me if anyone could save Yara, it was you. Just thought you should know. Libertad could use you, Loki. Clara could learn a lot from you. Libertad, la morale. Just a club, Danny. I fight for Yara. No one else. Shit. A fumigator. Want to go, Danny? I copy. Sniper on Overwatch. Attack. Danny, I never told anyone this. Okay. El Tigre killed Lobo. The Binga. Back in '67, they led the final attack together. But Lobo wanted Yara all for himself. Once they took Esperanza. His plan was to take down Santos. Lobo would have undone everything we fought for. Instead of peace, he would have started a civil war. Lobo was a traitor, Danny. He left El Tigre no choice. A secret no Yaran can ever know. Why are you telling me this? Because you remind me of Lobo. You might be a hero now. You might think you would never betray Yara. But once you're on the throne, it will change you. I have no desire to rule Yara, Loki. Just know that if I must, I won't hesitate to pull that trigger. Just
just like El Tigre. He was the real legend of 67. Okay. And he never forgave himself for it. substations. I've accessed their system, and thanks to you overloading the basin pressure at the plant, I can now do this. Do what, Yelena? Huh? Holy shit. Lucky, did you hear that? All of Yara heard that. Time for phase two. Get to the plant. Just follow the smoke. I don't like the look of this place. Lucky, I'm at the plant. Everyone's shitting themselves. Thanks to you. Engineers are trying to repair the chemical basins. Find the control room, Danny. Yelena's waiting to be patched into the computers. Once we have access... Heart attack. Got it. Better watch my step. The substations are compromised! Repeat! The substations are compromised!
Yelena, it's Danny. I've plugged you in. Time to do your thing. Muy bien. Let's melt this fucker. Yelena, any chance you could hurry things up? Hacking's an ours, Danny. Don't rush me.
Warning. Huh? Critical Make it to the party. Now let's finish this. With pleasure. destroyed the 
only place on this island where they produce the poison they spray on the tobacco fields in the west. After they use up the poison. No more wonder drug. Bunny, you're not going to believe it, but before we hit McKay at the port, I got a special request from Clara, and she's got a point. Didn't see that coming. We have an opportunity to do something bigger. If we destroy Castillo's oil reserves in El Este right now, it will choke his army of fuel across the island. I like the sound of that. Go hit the big red tanks all over La Jolla. Our guerrillas will help you. I sent them pics of what to target. Gracias, comadre. Just accept the arrests, the outcast system, the executions. Every modern country in the history of the world has dark days. Only difference now is that everybody can film it and stream it and try to get the world pissed off about it. Even in my country, Canada, go look up what they did to the indigenous folks and the fracking Jesus Murphy. But hey, nobody is perfect. Talk all you want. You're nothing but a fucking invader. Ah, keep trying to be a badass. See what I get you a couple generations from now. Danny, the assault on the port is starting. It's time to put a fucking end to McKay's invasion on our island. Let's make that Yankee pay for what he did to us. And in Castillo's rule over a We did it. See, si, Danny. Some. I think we were cut off. Go to the port right now. It's time to put an end to McKay's invasion on this island. We will make that Yankee pay for what he did to us. And it is Castillo's rule over El Este. The puta is mine. Shit. So much money flows through this one place. Guys, 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 guys. The momentum is shifting. If you don't make a stand against the Koreas here, you're gonna lose. Now go out there and fight for Castillo.
Bingo, any fuckers like me. Remember that. I will. Bingo! Stay away! Go in there, backpack. Listen, I'm running late, so. Mierda. Yelena, Mike wasn't there. The office was a fucking trap. Coño, that intel came from a fucking traitor. If I know anything about foreign invaders, they have one idea in their head if they're losing. The gay has to be on one of those ships. You called it lucky. Elena, if the Yaki was on that ship, he's a dead man. He wasn't. The case on the one farther out. Are you sure this time? This intel comes from one of Gilberto's people. She's on that ship and has a visual on him. I'm on my way. Gilberto will get on the line. Chameleons are fucking amazing. I know, but don't tell them that. Or else I may have to pay them more. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out and shoot my way in. Good luck, honey. Other ship had more. And McKay? Don't see him. I will lock up top.
Oh, right, Juan. Backpack's here. Danny, the situation has changed. I don't want to hear it right now, Juan. See, si, see, si, he's a skin tag on a weasel's asshole. Well. But we just made a deal. McKay is offering us a fuck ton of cash if we let him go. We're talking real dinero, Danny. No way Clara's good with this. I'll deal with Clara. You and I both know the real war starts the first minute Castillo dies. And you can't win that fight without cash, trust me. We've been doing pretty good with bullets. Leave him alone and head back to the port. I'm on my way there now. It's time to celebrate. We won! <laughs> go on, backpack. Go, go. Join the fiesta back on the mainland. I'm sure they're going to have a piñata set up and everything for you. I'm thinking. Adios, Mickey. Celeste para siempre, Danny. Yelena! I only wish Honron could have seen you put that fucker in the ground. Fuck Mickey's money. Let's hear it for Danny. You should say something. I've given enough speeches. Then I think it's only appropriate that I your time, Lorenzo. Lucky. <laughs> Today, for the first time in my life, I actually feel lucky. When I look into the eyes of your generation, I see the same fire, the same passion, the same hope I used to see in mine. Together, we have the chance to create something new. It's your turn. Let's make this Yara's last war. La Moral. Legends of 67. Bienvenidos al Este, Clara. Welcome to Libertad. Gracias, but no. La Moral's good on its own. Is that right? We'll help you kill Castillo, but we'll also keep an eye on Libertad. You want me to trust this wrinkled up abuelo to fix our Yara? No. We fight. We don't follow. I like this one. That's two of us. Si una esperanza. Vale. I know there are many who speak of the old revolution of 67 like a dream. That these murderers were heroes. They will destroy your future, just as they did my father's. When I look into your eyes, I see lions. Libertad. La moral. Murderers of 67. These are lies. The truth? They are all known by the same name. Terrorista! I have a vision. To rebuild paradise. But these terroristas have made sure the cost of paradise will be blood. Let this be Yara's last revolution. Let us claim victory to the lions! Did you just sign on? Don't get me wrapped up in your trouble. Find somewhere else to hide from the dating there. She looks like Sente. We place explosives here, here, and here. Speech starts, charges detonate, we create a ring of fire around that hotel hotter than the devil's asshole. Which means? Castillo's forces can get out and reinforcements can get in, with Danny right in the middle. And then what? Danny kills El Presidente. It's beautiful. 
Hey, Danny. Danny! Look at that sexy Supremo! You want me to kill Anton Castillo? Today. Anton is giving his annual Independence Day speech at the Hotel Paraiso. Live. Juan has intel on the exact location of his security detail. One in a million opportunity. We're gonna cut the head off the snake and make boots from his skin. Mierda. And you're good with this. Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? Thinking about it. What about you? Never killed a president before. <laughs> it's an assassination, Danny! It's guerrilla meth! Christ, I need a shower. And you need this. You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend! I call you! <laughs> He's too excited. He's right. Kill Castillo and Libertad will rise in the chaos. And after that, who knows? Who knows? Go put that come mierda down. Viva Libertad! Trigger. You don't. Clara and I have guerrillas out planting bombs all over Esperanza. It will be a Semtex symphony. You're on the tuba, and I am the conductor. Vamos, Danny. The pinga. I can't keep up with your metaphors. Find it until it's too late. Juan, the packages have been dropped off. You sound like a fucking postman. Just say, hey, Juan, I planted the bombs. I sent you a photo of where you can find me. On my way. I'm on the rooftops in front of the hotel. If you forget what I'm like, just look for the father figure you always wish you had. I think you mean drunk uncle, Juan. Hey, I'm six hours sober. Don't jinx it. Please, don't kill me! 
Getting close to Juan. The lion's den. You think you're safe. Bombs are in place, Juan. Yours were the last. Can you feel it? That moment of serenity? before a lot of assholes are going to die. Time for my three favorite words. Trigger the explosives. PTSD for everyone. Go, Danny. Secure the hotel and kill Anton. Go, Danny. You have become death, the destroyer of five-star resorts. <laughs> What's happening? Are you inside? I'm inside. Do you see Anton? Danny? There's nobody here. Clara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny. And you? You know who I am. You are here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be! You are not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yarens get hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You're looking for one Chamaco. You should leave Yara. He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. 
This way. Fucking dictators. Gracias. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. Definitely heard something. Hey, shooting! Don't mind if I do, Castillo. Clara, I made it out in one piece. He was a setup, but I got myself a little present. Castillo's right. Smells like old dictator. We didn't get Castillo, but we did some damage to his regime. Damage? You put Santos regime in the balls today. Go buy yourself a cerveza. You earned it. Hey, you ever hear anything about Castillo being sick? No, why? Uh, I overheard some guards. Hmm. It's good intel. I'll be in touch. Every step we take gets us closer to a free area. Castillo's thugs have taken it over. Shit. One of the priests was sheltering some of our guerrillas. Father Diego's going to be a hostage now. I know what to do. It's about time. Need you to do some dead drops for the cause. You drop off the vivido, I pick up the profits. Who are they drops for? You try these? I took one for research, now I can't stop. Turn my piss purple. You want one? No. Who's paying us for the vivido one? Before we slit Castillo's throat, we should ask for more flavors. It's the Yankees. Worse. CIA. The fucking CIA's in bed with Libertad? What's Clara think of that? Well, if she knew, I would hope it'd be something like, Thanks, Juan. I'm so happy to have guns to kill fascists named Castillo. Etc. Etc. Freedom costs money. Clara doesn't ask. And I'll never tell. It's a private club. Just you, me, and lighthouses filled with Anton's candy. Clara needs to stay shiny for the people. You're protecting her. I'm not so sure I'm the only one looking out for Clara. Just remember, after La Revolución, she won't have time for a guerrilla like you. Just in case. That's the spirit, guerrilla. Oye, Danny. I ever tell you the time I brokered a deal between the Yankees and the Sinaloa cartel back in 89? If I say yes, I feel like you're still going to tell me. Fucking drug lords want to stash their cash in American real estate so they can launder it. Fifty million dollar deal, Danny. That's great, Juan. I even got them to throw in a few kilos of product. Sold it on the black market, but... Lost it all at the tables in Monte Carlo. How is this helping me right now? Nah. I get lonely. Suerte!
first package dropped off. Okay, good. Hey, did I tell you about the time I broke the deal for Gorbachev? Let me guess. You made the deal, took a cut for yourself, and lost it in a dumb bet you can't even remember. I mean... Yes? I think this means we are family now. You thought I wouldn't notice Libertad selling my viviro to the Yankees? You're a dead man! When the Garillas arrested my family in 67, me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. Thirteen. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the Garillas came. Every day a new charge. <laughs> crime by crime, piece by piece he paid to the Garillas. But we would still talk every single night. Until they took his tongue for his lies to Yara. Stop! Papa, stop this! Who is this girl here to you? Ah. I think we should skip a few steps, Raul. Viva Libertad. The attack! The Hotel Paraiso. Danny was there. You... You told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me. Could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened. I've learned. I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. We will give them a chance.
Прости! School for the Lost. I think you know the place. Yeah, you could say that. On my way. Danny, make sure you're alone. No Juan. This is just you and me. Juan! We're burned. Castillo was waiting. He and his fucking head and out tried to kill me. Glad you made it. I, uh... I have to ask. Did you talk, Danny? Not a fucking word. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. The kid, Diego. He saved my life. What? Shot Anton's headed out dead. Old dog? Binga. This is good. This is very good. We are playing 4D chess in space now, Danny. Fuck your 4D chess, Juan. I just got my molars ripped out. Same thing happened to me back in the Congo. Except I did it to myself. Just chew in the front, like a rabbit. And Juan, let's leave Clara out of it. We got burned. That's all she needs to know. Clara's not enough to fucking deal with, let alone you almost getting torn to pieces. Gracias. Oye, Dani. Clara's upstairs. Gracias. It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Talia. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. Wanna tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're kidding, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live. And then Castillo let you walk away from a death sentence. But the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us.
You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. Juan, what the hell are we doing here? It's best to hide in plain sight. What? I told her not to go. I fucking told her. You told who, Clara? Juan, what is happening? He took her, Danny! He fucking took her. Clara. Castillo wanted parley. Just the two of them. Said the war was over. Libertad had won. He just wanted an elegant exit. Played right into her fucking head. Castillo's dog smashed our convoy the moment we hit the coast. Fuck! So what next? You and me are going to invade El Presidente's private island. Por favor! No me Who's this? Aquí. Chesnians call it the elephant. You cut off the breathing tube, they rat out their own mother. Then they tell you some other fucked up shit. Hey, what's your size? Supremo on or off? on that island was hand-picked by Castillo, so keep your distance. These are elite killers. You understand? Ready. I'll find sniper cover. You hit the house. I had my guess. It's family dinner. She'll be fine. She's going to be fine. Juan, got eyes on Anton's home. Okay, I'm in position. You need to get past the wall and do it without getting caught. You are a panther, Danny. No one can touch you. Any actual advice? The gates through the wall will be locked. Find the key, Danny. Like some kind of key-finding panther. Suerte. have a private villa without a massive security wall to get through.
shit. Leave now. So you do have a give it up. Just the key I was looking for. Here we go. Juan. I mean... Copy, Danny. Let's move. Who the fuck knows what Castillo's doing to Clara? Easy. You need to remember that these grounds are patrolled by Anton's elite killers. Your uniform is useless now. And if you get discovered, Clara dies. <sighs> Shit. Right. Breathe, Danny. I got your back. Okay, Clara. Where the fuck are you? Where are you, Clara? Horses, of course. I mean... Copy, Danny. Let's move. Who the fuck knows what that deal's doing to Clara? Easy. You need to remember that these grounds are patrolled by Anton's elite killers. Your uniform is useless now. And if you get discovered, Clara dies. <sighs> Shit. Right. Breathe, Danny. I got your back. Juan. Got eyes on Anton's home. Okay. I'm in position. You need to get past the wall and do it without getting caught. You are a panther, Danny. No one can touch you. Any actual advice? The gates through the wall will be locked. Find the key, Danny. Like some kind of key-finding panther. Suerte. Shit. Special forces.
Staring. Sit. Danny, sit down. My mother had a rule. No lies at my table. And so, no lies for you. I have acute leukemia. I was diagnosed 13 years ago, but there was a doctor. He promised what we are all so desperate for. Time. But it wasn't enough. Was it Diego? Papa, I don't want to hear this story. I needed insurance. But the irony was, I hated kids. But Maria, Maria, she had a way with words. And here you are, <laughs> Neil. 13 years strong. And what happened next, Diego? Hmm? The Vivido stopped working. When? Six months ago. Ni más sanidad condolencias. No lies at my table! I will be gone. But he... He will see the vision through. Won't you? Truth or lies? Always truth. You're a fucking monster. Ah, I think that was truth. Danny, watch my little firefly dance. You know when I captured Clara? I thought I had one. But it took my son to show me what was right before my eyes. You. You are Libertad. I'm just a Gary. No lies at my table! You're a legend. They tell stories about you. Come on. You are their hope. And now, you will become my hope. You're kidding, right? And you still don't get it. I told you to leave. This is your fault. You want her to leave? You will accept the rank of general. My army. You will be my hope, my legend, my Danny Rojas! Why are you so obsessed with dividing us? True Yarans, fake Yarans. It's one fucking Yara! Let us pick our own future. You're just some sick, dying old man. And you poor kid. Your brain must be so fucked up with his poison. No eyes on Anton. I'm taking out the kid. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm taking the shot. What? No! Diego! Come, Diego! Now! Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Did I get him, Danny? One. 
Clara is it? No, 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 no. Talk to me, Danny. She's dead. Juan. Juan. Danny. Come and meet us. Answer the phone, Juan! Heal the boot! One! I think I lost her. There's enough blood spilled, Danny. Castillo has escaped to the capital. The island is secure. Meet me in the courtyard. On my way.
Juan! What happened, Danny? We never talked about killing the kid. What do you care about some fucking rich mocoso in a castle? <coughs> you think I'm a fucking idiot? You don't care about the goddamn kid. You just don't want La Revolución to end. We had her, Danny. He wasn't part of the plan. You are exactly what I said you would be. A junkie. You can't quit. Just like me. I am nothing like you. Not yet. Clara is dead. But we have the eagle's nest. This is where we'll launch our attack on the capital. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like it or not, you are Libertad's jefe. So either walk away right now, or lead us to fucking victory. We never talked about killing the kid. Where are you going? To finish what she started. Clara dreamed of this moment. When I met her, I wanted to get the fuck out of Yara. Then she told me what... what we're fighting for. She explained it really well. Fighting with you has been great. Just great. I got your back. You have mine, you know? Even if you're old, if you're young, that's okay too. I like all of you. What I'm trying to say is, we're going to win. I promise. <laughs> Shit, you're really bad at this. Yeah. Wow. Danny, Clara was a great leader, but there's a reason we joined Libertad. We're with you, jefe. Now, let's take our country back. Danny, viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Love you, Danny. We got you, Hero. You look like a bag of shit. Like looking in the mirror, no? Get some rest, compai. Be the legend tomorrow. Senor Presidente, we must consider your safety. Libertad is surrounding the capital. We need a clear view of the sunrise from here. Si, sí, Senor Presidente. I want yarns to catch the horizon at every intersection. I have several boats prepared. If we leave now, we can have you and Diego. This is the wrong design. I said Pereira, not Van Allen. Do not pollute Esperanza with my father's obsession with our deco. Your eye is impeccable, Senor Presidente. Please, you must listen. At least the boy must be- Enough! <coughs> can you see it? Wait, can you see it? Let's take a look at the plaza again. Something modernist, like Genere. Danny, you want to know why I followed Clara? She had a vision. It's because she's nothing like me. There are too many Juans in this world. Too many Antons, and maybe too many Dannys. There will never be enough Claras. Danny, you ready to break a country?
last time I was on a boat ride like this, Clara told me I should go work in a Yankee supermarket. She was fucking with you, Danny. She knew exactly who you are. She also told me that she would never live to see her vision of Yara. Clara did everything with eyes wide open. She knew what she was signing up for. She should be here instead of me. What? You're allowed to miss her, Danny. Just don't get lost in the clouds. We take Esperanza for Clara. Viva Libertad! Viva fucking Libertad! Check out the fireworks! <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yelena. We've cleared the perimeter. The morale has your back. And Libertad is fucking grateful. Monroe would have fucking loved this, Danny. Batter up, Yelena. Batter up. Danny, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be, Loki. Never thought I'd be storming the capital twice in a lifetime. It'll be chaos, Danny. The likes of which you've never seen. But take a moment. This is history. And if by some miracle you reach that tower, remember. When we are all free. See, Hefe. See. Forward! Fucking 
tank? Elena, stay here. Nobody gets past you, understand? Esperanza, 
Radio Libertad is here with the real voice of Yara. We have freed your airways, and now we're here to free you. Tell her I'm on my way. We have Unless to keep pushing. your name is Anton Castillo, then you're totally fucked. Fuck yeah, you two! You hear that, Castillo? The fucking Leon. Time to slay the lion. It's quiet. The smart soldados need to run. It's just the fanatics and the true believers now. Careful, Danny. He's going to be protected by his best. Doesn't matter. Anton is backed into a corner. Just be ready for anything. Juan, it's okay. School is over. See, si, see. Si. And now it's graduation. It's time. I'll see you for at the top, Guerrilla. Put him in the Stand up and defend the future. Soldiers! Yara has given you everything. Now give everything for Yara. Hey, 
It is time for all true Yarens to stand up and defend their future. Soldiers, Yara has given you everything. Now give everything for Yara. Move forward! He's firing!
the way to Castillo. You have killed thousands, set my city on fire, destroyed the dream of paradise. All that stands between you and the throne is me and my son. I'm no dictator. Lies. You are not Clara. Yara is burning, and you don't put out fires with free elections. He's about the same age I was. When the Garillas murdered my father. I never thought that you would have to face what they put me through. I am sorry, Diego. You are my lion. Everything that I did, I did to make you stronger. You are not going to kill him. He's going to die anyway. Last lesson, Mio. There is one thing in life that will always be true. Do you know what that is? Death. See? You will protect him from your friends, from the monsters. He'll be safe. I promise. Lies. Diego! No! Everything's gonna be all right. Don't move, Chamaco. It's... it's okay, Danny. Don't talk. You smell that? That's the stink of fucking victory! Juan, the, he shot Diego in the fucking chest. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Forget the kid, Danny! Fuck you, he's bleeding out. Is he hit in the heart, Danny? Is he bleeding? Lucky, I don't know. There's, there's too much blood. Stay with me, Chamaco. It, it's okay. It's, it's okay, Danny. You were the lucky one. No, no. Move, Danny! Lucky, what's happening? I don't want to be the one to say this, but what do we do now? Yara needs a leader until we can hold elections. There's only one person I trust in this room. You better not say yourself. Yara is yours, Danny. Lo siento. No, it's not. I'm not a politician. Glad I was. Maybe you are. The only reason we are standing here is because we didn't wait for one person to solve all our problems. When tyranny is law, revolution is order. Where are you going? Yara's yours. Don't fuck it up. To fallen heroes. To her Yara. You know, Danny, there's never gonna be an election. There's plenty of Castillo's friends out there who want to make sure of that. 
You want to go hunting? It's like I'm looking in a fucking mirror. Wants a guerrilla. Always a guerrilla. I ever tell you the story of the time Santos smuggled me into Uganda so I can steal him a goddamn Sebra? Yes. Angry motherfuckers. But that didn't stop me, Danny. Just gives me confidence. Libertad thanks you for your support. And I come bearing good news. Our Ribeiro supply has tripled. Ah, uh, you know, he's so sad about that Castillo kid. I mean, what his papa did. Wow, that is crazy. No, uh, a tragedy. <laughs> well, you know, some people are just sick in the mind, hermano. They're out of control. Same time next week. <laughs> well, you can bet your life on it. Yeah.